O. Now this should be interesting. Okay. Move that. Whoop. Close that. Okay, right. Interesting. Right, this should be interesting, right. Okay. Let's get ourselves sorted out for the lovely Zulfarak. Uh. Okay, let's just start the farm. I can't be bothered. Do 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 do. Do do do. Just need to make sure that everything's going to go all right. Yeah, everything's working fine. Sweet. Okay, cool. Do 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 do. No, I'm I'm. <laughs> this is weird. I'm not used to live streaming. Do do do. Okay. And okay, so it's probably the worst time of day to actually do a stream. Nah, well, I'll screw it. Okay, regardless, let's just keep going. Do, do, do. Should be interesting. I'm really hoping to get some uh, glorious leg plates. That would be very interesting. Do, do, do. Wait, what, what actually comes from her? Uh, do, do, do. Dynamo, all that stuff. Um, right, two six. And grab that. Mount up. Do, grab those. Privacy. Private. Private. What? Okay, that 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 is interesting. That is very interesting. No, nothing of worth. Okay, should I meld? I'm not on that. Actually, I'm really curious to see if it's actually doing it on my channel. Very curious. We'll just go out of here, pause the timer for a second so we don't mess up anything up. Go into here, go into...
Mm-hmm. That'll be interesting to see. Public. There we go. So, so, why, why, why on earth was it set to that? I have no idea. Okay. Um. Do 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 do. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why that was on private. That made no actual sense. However, let's just restart the timer and keep going. Uh, actually, double check this quickly. Do do do. Oh, okay, right. It says live. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, I had myself worried. I had it on private. Dang. Okay, right. Zulfarak. All right, Zulfarak. I'm currently going for the lovely, glorious leg plates and a load of the jade gear. Basically, that's what I'm going for at this moment in time. And finally, because I've actually moved location, I can actually stream now. So I've been trying to set this up all morning and yeah, basically it's been quite weird. Not, not used to actually streaming. So let's see how this goes. Figure I'll just give a few hours and see what happens. Hey, have a great session. Hey, cheers, ma'am. Uh, I really hope so. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping to get those glorious because then that will really help with the transmog selling side of things as they go for a pretty dang decent amount of gold. So very much looking forward to it. Uh, we're on run number two at this moment in time. And uh, if I just put myself on auto run, go into transmog and Zulfarak, we got quite a few things to go for. Obviously glorious leg plates. I'm pulling that up inside of worth it. So that will help quite nicely. So I'm just doing my standard run that I usually do when it comes towards farming up uh, transmog in general, when it comes towards Zulfarak. Now I love Zulfarak. It's like one of my go-tos when it comes towards transmog. And I figured, well, this week, well, it was technically last week, because I usually do farms like a week in advance to categorize it and make sure all the data is correct before I actually post a video. However, Due to some circumstances last week, uh, I was not able to actually make any videos this week. Well, for this week. And thus, I can't... I figured, hey, why not stream? Uh, as I now have the capabilities to stream now. So, why not? Um, to be quite honest, it's going to be quite fun in some senses of the word. Hopefully it goes quite well. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm really hoping I get something good on this stream. <laughs> like the, with the uh, in regards to actually loot in general and all that jazz. So hopefully that works out quite well. Looking forward to it. Uh, I've tried to move my keyboard away from the actual microphone so it isn't too loud because I know my keyboard is very loud. Thank you, Razor. Uh, but however, I can always just click the buttons and then it won't be as loud when it comes towards that stuff. Uh, anyone who feels free to ask any questions about gold making or anything, feel free. I'm more than happy to answer while I'm doing my farming. That's like kind of the entire point of this stream. So, oh, we, oh, we, oh, okay, cool. Sweet. Uh, two BOEs. Sweet. Uh, I'm, I'm all right with that. Um, with those witch doctor totems i'm very happy to use shadow meld because shadow meld just uh negates all aggro so i'm very happy with that and we can now check out what we've actually got so i hope uh i hope it's a decent item uh did one for 570 for the scalpel what does that look like oh that's okay and do, 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 where was the other one where are you do, do, do. There you are. 
Oh, oh, th oh okay. They, they, mm, meh. Uh, oh, Lofty. Lofty. I know Lofty gear sells rather well. That's actually quite good. Keep that. I'll put that in my bank and all that jazz. That works out quite well. Da, da, da. So hopefully that works out quite well. We've actually got two BOEs, but then they're not very good, unfortunately. So I'll have to just manage that and see if I actually get anything decent. Probably not going to sell any of the greys as the market is completely oversaturated with grey and white items at the moment. So I don't see the point in actually selling those as I'm just literally going to be farming for no reason trying to sell those and just compete and compete and eventually I'll just lose gold on them. So I'd rather just go for the high ticket items in order to actually sell on the auction house so to speak so run number three hopefully we get something decent i'm really hoping to get some jade gear i know if with like if i go into my instance farmer gold sheet um do 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 i believe it's at the bottom uh yeah in my first run i managed to get the jade greaves black metal cape eye gouger, troll protector, and the flaming incinerator for my first run. So I was really lucky when it came to all of that. I worked out really well. Um, <laughs> I'm still going obviously for the uh, glorious leg plates. That That's something I really want because uh, for obvious reasons that will just make things a hell of a lot better when it comes to everything in general. <clears throat> Uh, I, oh, we'll have a notification on Discord. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was just my bot saying saying that I'm live. Okay. Yeah, so Zulfrak, pretty good goal farm overall. I'm probably going to do some, like, some other types of farms or do some crafting today, I think, because I do need to catch up on that, as last week was so mental i couldn't actually do anything um do 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 oh hey uh adric uh i've been on oh, oh, lady just got back okay just just got back to 10.1 any ideas for gold making if you don't consider flipping best dungeons for transmog best dungeons for transmog buddy um i number one zulfarak is one of my favorite ones Oh, dude, Rob. Hey, man. Um, and Zulfrak is a good one. I do like the Karazan Trash Farm, though it is high ticket. It is kind of, how would you say, it's very RNG based, like really high RNG. So you could be really lucky with that one or all that stuff. And uh, Rob, um, <clears throat> actually, I actually think that the Karazan Trash Farm is an actually great farm. No, but uh, seriously, in all, in all sense of the words, Black Fathom Deeps is a really great transmog farm that people underutilize like all the time. And if you did like at least four or five hours of that, you would pretty much gain quite a decent amount of gold overall. I really enjoy uh, Black Fathom Deeps. It's actually on my uh, to-do list when it comes towards gold farming for the transmog series. So I think that's probably where I'd probably go. And Shadow Meld, we'll get rid of all of those. So now I can jump out any decent greens. Uh, nope. Uh, the Griffin Mail, no. And no worries, Rob, uh, happy to oblige. Now, the other things that I can't see is, uh, I want that. Oh, oh yeah, because I'm sh sh I'm doing my because <laughs> I'm doing uh, Dreamwalk. I do like Dreamwalk. I, that is such a handy ability. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. I need to reset the instance. The good thing is, I'm actually get gaining footage while I do this. So I, then when I do my polished videos, this is actually really handy. And I just said actually once again. <laughs> I know I say actually a lot again. And uh, also, uh, what was the other one? That being the case, I remember everyone commenting about, um, what was it 2020 or 2021? 
when I was doing daily videos, I was always saying that being the case or actually and all that stuff. I, I remember that because we were going super hard. Hey, uh, Mush Amazing TV. Good morning, mate. How, how are you doing? It's nice to see more people in the chat, actually. This is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, don't really do streaming, but now I've actually moved like homes. I can actually stream now because I have a decent internet connection. And uh, I'm probably just going to keep the stream up as long as I, well, uh, well, until I get bored, basically. Because <laughs> I'm basically doing everything that I would normally do on my gold farming. And then we'll just go from there. I, I was actually considering doing something like, uh, how, how would you say, like doing some worth it updates or some extra stuff. So do you know like the library of importable routes for gold farmers? I really want to just build that out to like a routes for every single zone and every um, herbalism, mining, skinning route. And to be honest, I've been obsessing about doing the worth it update for fishing, like fishing in every zone. I really, I would love to do that, just fish in every zone, but I, for some reason, I just can't justify that amount of time farming every zone for fish. It would just, uh, <laughs> I could probably make some really good videos um, instead. That's That's the only issue. But I, hopefully everyone's doing well this morning. I'm doing pretty good. I'm on like my second cup of coffee because the last couple of days has been absolutely mental. And uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's been quite a long, a long last week, so to speak, in all that jazz. Yeah, I said all those words. But overall, very much enjoying how things are going so far. We've gone two BOEs, if you've just joined. Uh, two BOEs, they're not the best, but we got a piece of the Lofty set, which, to be honest, Lofty used to be really good, like, for farming and selling on the auction house. I remember doing, like, the Silifus farm for, like, hours upon hours just for those Lofty, the Lofty gear. It was mainly the shoulders that were really great. However, a lot of the, how would you say, uh, gear is pretty good besides like braces. I, I hate selling braces. I will actively try and avoid it. Oh, recipe. And I don't think I have that on my alchemist. No, I don't. No, I don't have that on my alchemist. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Let's reset the instance, go back in, all that stuff. Tyrants. Tyrants is okay. Um, it's not worth a great deal on my server, so I'm probably not going to sell it. I'm mainly going for high ticket items, but if there's a random item that I do like the, uh, the item and I know from experience is going to sell, then I'm obviously going to sell it because experience helps quite a lot when you do a lot of farming over the last, like, how many years? Because I've been playing since like, well, classic. So, 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 I've been playing WoW for a very long time from when I was a kid. I'm like, I'm coming up to 30 now, dang. How much are you getting from this run? Um, honestly, I'm going for only high ticket items, but if I wanted to factor in every single green, I'm probably gonna get a decent amount. Um, Overall, it's just little nits and bits, but what I'm really going for is high ticket items. So like glorious leg plates, they're like 50 or K, all that stuff. So at the moment we've only made around about 2000 gold because I don't factor in any of the low tier transmog because I don't find it worth selling and the hassle of reposting all of those on the auction house because eventually you can make gold with low tier transmog, but you need a ton and my strategy is more going for high tickets. So that means disregarding all of the low tier transmog and only specific going for high tier. If I really wanted to make gold at the moment and I was like my main goal is to make a ton of gold at this moment, it would mainly be Pit of Sauron on Heroic because I know every single probably 
two to three like lockouts of that i'm going to get a bad hill on average and the lovely oh what was it seal tome of the lost legion seal tome of the lost legion over time just makes so much gold it's insane so it's always worth having a warlock i really do yeah yeah seal tome of lost legion battered hilt if i really wanted to make a lot of gold pretty fast i'd probably do that because i know battered hilt on my server sells relatively fast and seal tome of the lost legion over time just stacks and stacks and stacks but um Bad Hill is actually a transmog piece. It may be a quest item, but it gives you a transmog piece. And overall, I find that to be uh, quite handy if you want to actually boost up. You know what? I might actually do that in one of the next runs. Do Pack Pit of Sauron on Heroic. But I know I did that like a week ago, and it's like, do well, uh, like a couple of months ago I did that. And overall, that was for like the lazy gold farming method that I constructed. That I still actually actively do is the lazy gold farming method. Hey man, well, I was literally wondering why you haven't been been posting anything. Uh, I actually posted three videos last week, man. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just doing a nice little stream because unfortunately I, I work was mental last week, so I wasn't able to actually do much. So. I just decided, well, now I've got all that stuff, I can do all that. Doing runs is best on Warlocks. No, uh, for running dungeons, I prefer Druids. Druids just work amazingly well, Mush. Um, and I really stopped enjoying the game after after Dragonflight. But Dragonflight is still current, buddy. I don't understand. Do you mean like the first patch? Hi Della, great to see a live. I love it. Sweet, it's nice to see you too, Jenny. Uh, I'm probably going to keep the stream running as long as, as well, as long as I'm doing my gold farming for the day. Um, we're getting quite a nice amount of recipes. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, well, war warlocks are specific gold farming characters. If I had to put them into a category, I mainly use my warlock for his blacksmithing profession uh, don't ask me why he's a blacksmith i just did that in wad and then i was just like oh okay i'm just going to keep him that way <laughs> but i've always if i ever go onto a new server and i start fresh and i need quick gold then i will always go with like alchemy and inscription because i know that the old um potions in that just by learning your profession you can get your gold back for the investment it just works. Uh, Dragonfight has made the game better. Not sure how you stopped enjoying it now, lol. Um, y yeah, um, I, I, I'm rather enjoying Dragonflight. However, I do struggle to find time at the moment because I'm currently trying to juggle like a million things at once at the moment. I've probably taken on a bit too much more than I can handle in some senses of the word. But um, I really did like the cinematic. Uh, for me, it made it worse. Really? It made it worse for you? Dude, man, that's not good. Well, uh, each to your own. You have your own opinions and all that jazz, so fair. Uh, in which sense? Um, to be quite honest, I really like, um, I really like the leveling this expansion. Rather enjoyed that. What I would like is the XP boost potion to come back. Um, that would be cool. Oh, 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 that, that, that's something I really want. I really want a new gold sink mount to come back in, like just a set. You've got loads of them in the game files that haven't been used. Just give us some gold sink mounts and that'd be amazing for the gold making community. I would love that, that'd be so cool. Uh, I love Dragonfly, game is so much. Oh, I should probably take, pay attention to my screen. Uh, <laughs> and um, I love Dragonflight games so much more for now than it was in Shadowlands. Yeah, Shadowlands was not fun. I did not enjoy it. Hence why I just put everything into making Void. I was just like, yeah, I'm not happy with the game in Shadowlands. So I was just, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like, I'm going to make my own game instead. <laughs> uh, 
and now I'm uh, how much did I even spend on that? It was like five grand on on Void. Dang, I spent quite a lot on Void. However, YouTube did help with the ad revenue, so that I I can't be upset with that too much. Uh, the best professions uh, the the professions are bad in Dragonfly. The work order is one of the worst systems they ever made. Uh, to be honest, I've I've not actually used it. I have not used the work order system at all. Uh, I'm I'm not interested in it in in that in that way. Uh, I love Dragonfly, but I miss my girlfriend Sylvanas. <sighs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, they kind of ruined her story. I was, I was very, <laughs> I was very upset <laughs> with, the, the, with, with the way she was portrayed in the last couple of expansions. Like, I don't even know how to, how to describe it. I remember I was talking to my friend Katia about this when it was actually ongoing and we were both just like, yeah. But, uh, hot take, I don't like Taranda. I never liked her in, um... I never liked Taranda Whisperwind in Warcraft 3 and I still don't like her now. I find her voice irritating to me. <laughs> so it's 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 something very petty but I really hate the voice. So I can't stand it. I have to play play any of those on thing. Uh I must agree the work order system I don't use it. I, neither do I. I don't see the point. Um I like farming, that's my thing. I do like crafting, however, I'm just super lazy sometimes. And uh, work order are empty, none will earn anything on it, so people just will spam trade chat, stupid system, hope they remove it. Uh, I don't think they're gonna remove it because they've already imprinted it and there is a demand, unfortunately, for work order systems. I don't. At the end of the day, if people are using it on maybe not your server but my server then i think people will it will stay as a system they won't just remove that system if they've put so much time into it it would just be like a lost leader at the end of the day Toronto whisperin just sounds like some someone naming one of their farts <laughs> that, that was perfect <laughs> oh dang okay fair <laughs> You know what? I I can agree to that. That was that was brilliant. <laughs> How much gold uh, average per run, bro? Uh, dude, um, I explained earlier, but I'll reiterate now. I'm only going for high ticket items, so I'm not tracking the average gold for each run. I'm literally doing the runs and seeing if I get a high ticket item. We're only going for high tickets. The high tickets that we're going for are glorious leg plates. We're basically going for all of these BOEs, and hopefully we can get a decent thing. Uh, yeah, 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 Rob, you definitely made me laugh, man. <laughs> yeah, but overall, I'm I'm not a fan of Taranda. Um, I find her voice so irritating; it, it bugs the hell out of me. And uh, if it, you you know what, I I actually played the new uh, Warcraft three thing, Reforged, dude. Uh, just just keep it the way it was, man. You didn't need the update. Maybe just update the systems, but yeah. A revamp wasn't necessary at that point. <laughs> to be honest, they should put, probably put all their resources into like Warcraft 4 to like expand the story. Because if you ever like notice or look at how WoW had developed from the beginning days, it was all spanning from the storyline of like, oh, what was it called? Um, from Warcraft 3 it was like the Arthur story arc and then everyone was like hyped it's like Warcraft all that stuff it's like Arthur's oh the Lich King I remember me and my mates were always talking about this in school with our Yu-Gi-Oh cards out and all that jazz and then if you look at the sub numbers it started dropping off once the story arc completed it was a three part arc three part expansion it's quite common in storytelling for that so they need a Warcraft 4 to just expand the story. Um, that's what I I believe. But obviously, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But 
it could be just me wanting Warcraft 4 to come out because I do like a good strategy game. I'm kind of meh about her, but in the Shadowlands cinema, she was pretty uh, wick, uh, wicked, though. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can agree, Rob. Man. Um, she... She was okay in in the, in those cinematics. I wasn't very much of a big fan. She, oh, how do I even get my my point across there? It was more like she was trying too hard. You know, like try hard mode. I I will kill you, Savannah. Blah blah blah. And then and then um and then it ended up with oh renewal. I choose renewal. No, you go for vengeance. You cut her head off. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go for it, go for it. You know what I mean? Oh uh, wait, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I was just like, either do it or don't. Like, dang. <gasps> Keep us called. Uh, oh, the region average sale. Yeah. Oh, I got excited for a second. I thought that was gonna be good. But to be honest, my, my favourite character of all time, if I had to pick one, is Rexar. And I play Alliance. But I always liked Rexar in, like, uh, like just... Do you remember, like, BC? BC Rexar, just in the middle of Blade's Edge Mountains. I remember doing those quests. I still, I still remember today when I turned level 70 in BC. I was doing the, the Gul'dan quest line in uh, Shadow Moon Valley. Uh, I, I must. How old was I? I was probably about thirteen at the time. Thirteen, yeah, something like that. And <laughs> I remember going there, hitting level seventy, and just going, "My life is complete. <laughs> My life is complete." I was, uh, <laughs> yeah, level level seventy, definitely. I remember that so bad. Classic, I just messed around. I had no clue what the hell was going on. Literally no clue what what was going around in all of that. It just made no sense. Oh, I was just like... I remember in the Barrens, we had, me and my mate Zach, he was called... Uh, he was an orc hunter at the time, and I was playing... Wait, what was I playing? I was playing Undead. I think it was an Undead. Yeah, because I was playing Nyros. He was my... Undead Warlock, who now is my Wargum Warlock. But um, I remember we had the, the... Do you know where the Centaur attacked the base in the Barrens in uh, Classic WoW? Yeah, that was that was our, our little base that we called. And we, we made a guild called the High Elf Defenders. There was literally no reason for this. And all we did was just mess around and just kill um, Centaurs. Just... just just one of those things, really. Can't really say much else on that. But, but yeah, I, I, at the moment, I think wow, we're still running off of just nostalgia at the moment and sunk, uh, sunken cost fallacy and all that stuff. <clears throat> but um, to be honest, I, I really hope there's something goes on with like Eridicrond. So like uh, the Eridicrond storyline currently in Dragonflight is interesting but it hasn't hooked me yet like he's a cool character don't get me wrong he's like stoic and badass and he's just like I know what I'm doing I'm going to destroy everyone blah 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 and I'm just like okay uh you gonna do anything bro like you opened up that thing in like in the latest patch and then Farak just jumped down the feeling one had back in vanilla wow was so good and Sally won't get that back you never will, man. That's the sad reality of it because that was when we were all enjoying WoW, like a fresh experience, vanilla WoW. It was new. It was a new way to play games and all that stuff. I, basically, what we need, like in general, when it comes towards gaming at the moment, and I, I don't know if anyone feels this way, but I definitely feel this way, is something needs to shift besides highly monetized games and just no no depth no depth to it like i think probably time for a major shift in the way we all play games needs to occur but i don't know how that's going to happen because we saw those major shifts when it came with like wow of mmos and all that stuff and 
overall, I think, well, I just think it, it, it's about time, but I don't know who's going to pull the cord, so to speak. Uh, in TBC, er everyone I met was playing it, was, ama was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I remember doing Karazhan on this little rubbish laptop we called the Glitch King. The laptop was called the Glitch King because it was so bad. And it was running Windows Vista to play WoW. And that's when I was a Blood Elf pal Holy Paladin because I was healing in TBC uh, as, well, Paladin, healer. And I remember doing, uh, what was what was the boss? You know, the dragon boss, the one with the rainbows. I can't remember his name. Uh, dang. Yeah. You're making me feel so old, man. I was, I was like in my 20s when BC came out. Dan, dude, I was only in my early teens when BC came out. Don't worry, dude. Um... <laughs> Um, seriously, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Like I'm, I'm like 30 this year and I'm already, and, uh, yeah, we're getting close. And it's like, <laughs> I keep thinking I need to sort my life out. And I'm like, oh, I'll just play another game of like bit of wow. <laughs> oh, I do love this game. But, um, but I think it's more nostalgia these days when it comes to all that. However, I'm really pleased with like how worth it came along. We're like, we're like, at like nearly like a million downloads. And I'm just like, this came out of just frustration of not being able to save my loot appraiser sessions. <laughs> uh, Warcraft in VR. Dude, dude, that would be cool. But think about the motion sickness with World of Warcraft in VR. Oof. Imagine if you're on your mount, or or dragon riding in VR. Or I probably fall. Ugh. Sorry, I, I I don't think I could do that for like hours. It'd probably be like an hour most, and I'd feel probably feel feel a bit nauseous after a few hours of doing that. But yeah, probably maybe. But think about all the computing power you would need for that to do it in VR. Yeah, because I, I, I tried programming my own VR game before. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, needless to say, I, I didn't do that because I, I'm not that great of a coder. I'm, I would say I'm subpar at best when it comes to what's programming. Visiting Sylvanas in VR. <sighs> Visiting Sylvanas in VR... Maybe. I'd probably go to Alex Straza, if anything, when it came towards VR. I'd just be like, hey. <laughs> oh, total waifu. But yeah. Now let's reset the instance. Oof. Well, at least we've got the Keeper's Binding, so uh, at least I can sell that on the auction house. But overall... It shouldn't be too bad. I guess probably should stop like covering my mouth. Uh, Zulfrak has been reset. Can I go in? Yes, I am. Um, okay. So last last one. What was my last instance farm? It was like thirty eight minutes. Wow, dating simulator, dude, bro. <laughs> you like your Sarah more? Oh, I can't. I can't do that. Nah. No, nah, not you, not you, Sarah. I I know I know my friend Katya, obviously, she'd probably go for Caligos. Because <laughs> I remember when she, when the new updated model, she was just like, ah, ah. I was just like, ah, okay, cool. <laughs> but um, now nah, Alex Straza for me if I had to pick a dragon flight. Uh, wow, dating simulator. That now, why am I thinking of goat simulator while I'm at this? While I'm reading that, that just sounds interesting, so, so to speak. 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, I think White Mane is one of my favorite characters. I I can fix her. You you definitely can, ma'am. Just 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 join. Calic is taken by Jaina. Actually, Jaina is taken by me. <laughs> Because if you think about it, Caligos can't beat me because I'm the player character. I have plot armor. <laughs> this is a, actually, that's a, that's a good question. What did you guys think of BFA? I'm serious. I'm serious right now. Like, what did you think of BFA? Because I actually didn't mind BFA. I rather enjoyed BFA overall. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about it. Now that would be interesting to hear everyone's reactions on that one. I think we're on our like our last run because my bags are like nearly full again, and usually by the time I get to like two full bags, Zulfrak is done. I got a twenty-four hour chat chat mute for during BFA. Really? You got a why? Oh yeah, you you say it in the chat, dude. That's <laughs> really you got you got a chat me for that okay that that interesting it's funny how 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 uh, silly things are getting when it comes towards like blocking everyone for saying saying random stuff oh is that no well this was a terrible run i'm not happy with that my inventory is full oh okay why is it full Let's just get rid of a grey item. I'm not gonna, not gonna thingy. Shift, grab that. That's mine. Ha ha ha. And we can zoom out and go in. Hmm. Crafting was fun, but the gameplay was boring. Yeah, I rather enjoyed crafting in BFA. They did something right, and I sold a pattern, by the way, guys. Uh, probably two hundred and fifty-seven gold. My Pattern for green silk pack has sold. Nice. Good. Not a decent amount of gold, but eh. On your point of never being able to go back to the feeling of vanilla, I completely agree. Uh, used to feel like your character had a personality and a name. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you could make your own story. You felt like you could make your own story about your character. And I, I didn't even role play at the time. Like, I, I've never role played really. I remember I used to do role play with my Warhammer collection when I was collecting Warhammer, like actively. That was um, very, very fun. Can I actually go back in? Am I, am I locked out? No, what, what? Oh wait, because I didn't reset the instance, did I? That's probably why. There's like 40 minutes. We'll disregard the other bits. Yeah, we're, we're locked. It's like 40 minutes. Okay, so let's pull up the instance farmer gold sheet. Sorry, I won't be able to read any things for just two seconds. That's 40 minutes logged into the instance farmer gold sheet. But yeah, I understand what you mean with like your character feeling like it's your character. Like they have a literal story to them. I really probably should re-download the uh, auto sell junk uh, add-on again, but I just, in all honesty, I am very lazy at downloading add-ons and updating them. I just can't be bothered <laughs> half the time. Yo, 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 yo. How, how are you today? Nice to see you. Right, we're probably gonna have to go through all of this stuff that we've just gotten. So let's just do soul, soul bound, and just get rid of all these soul bound items because we can't do anything with them because we haven't got. We're not doing this on an enchanter, so we'll just get rid of all these soul bound items and then we'll do that. That's the. That's. Are you just enchanting this stuff? I can't because she's not a um, enchanter, so I'm gonna have to sell these. The one thing that bugs me about Zulfarak farm. One thing that bugs me about the Zulfarak farm is the Shriveled Troll Heart. Let me be able to sell it. 
it's not been able to be sold for ages and I just want to be able to sell it to the vendor. It just makes sense to sell it to the vendor. I'm trying to make gold with Dragonflight Engineering and it's it's hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard because everyone is going to be wanting to do the current content stuff. However, for me, I'm going to sound like a contrarian right now and say I like to go for legacy stuff. I've always gone for legacy stuff because you have enough, a long enough timeline to know what sells and what doesn't and the competition is low and you can make a decent amount of gold by doing it. That's why I do it. So uh, uh, just to, for clairvoyance, guys, uh, anything put at the top is going to be MOG that I'm going to keep for myself. Uh, anything at the direct bottom, I'm going to be keeping to sell on the auction house and other stuff I'm just going to be getting rid of. Shriveled Troll Fart. Yeah, basically. Ooh, Blood Forged. Ooh, I'm keeping that. I know that sells that sells rather well. Uh, Lunar. Yeah, the Lunar stuff sells quite well. Eternals. Nope. Uh, the Wind Chaser. Well, the Wind Chaser is at like 931 gold. However, I know this one doesn't sell rather well on my server. Tyrant's chest piece. All Tyrant gear just sells. The Griffin stuff doesn't sell. Keepers. Uh, wreath. Nope, we'll keep that for my character. We're going to keep that for my character. We're going to get rid of that. Going to keep that for my character. That's the good thing about doing Transmog farm. You can get Transmog for yourself if it isn't worth a decent amount of gold. It's like this. The Scorpish slippers, not good to sell on the auction house. And the reasoning behind that is the region sale average is 73 gold. However, the min buyout for me is 305. It's not worth my time to post that on the auction house for ages. I'm only going for like high tickets or medium range. Oh, hell. Oh, damn, man, OP. Uh, one of the things I believe I could make WoW better is to include the old world in the new expansion, meaning we are in Dragonfly. Dude, I would love a revamp to WoW. I would love a revamp just overall. A revamp for WoW would be amazing, uh, especially to the open world. It would just make things a lot easier on me and all that stuff. Hey, we got some jade. A jade braces of the quick blade. I know that's going to sell. Keep that. Uh, make quests force you to go back to the old world. How about we don't force players? Because if you force players, they're not going to want to keep playing. However, if you revamp the old world and some of the old zones and scale all of the mobs back up to, relative to what level you are, just as a as a global thing, it would just make sense, would it not? And uh, I was I I do like that amount. Uh, right now, a lot of expansion island will never leave the thing. Yeah, dude, MMOs are supposed to be open world. Uh, Sunscale. Ooh, Sunscale. I'll keep that. But, um, yeah, the open world is one of those things where you should probably be able to play in any expansion and be able to level. I would love that. Like, if I could just solely level a character all the way to max level just by doing old content, I would. Oh, no, I haven't got that. Uh, or give the option to settle down with Sylvanas, marriage, children, pets, white pi picket fence. Rob, you really love Sylvanas, don't you? <laughs> oh, going through all this gear. Do, do, do. So this is the stuff you don't see after the fact of when I'm like updating my Patreon stuff and updating all of the footage for the videos. Like it's me going through these bags, seeing what is relative to sell and what isn't and what I want to actually keep for myself and just sell on. So like a lot of stuff just gets chucked away. Dark Miss Orb. That's not going to sell. It's an offhand. Also, why have Blizzard not stolen... Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon System. Yes! Sorry, I shouted into the mic there. Um, yeah, the dungeon system for Final Fantasy XIV is amazing. Like, I... I yeah, it's it's great. Um, yeah, I would I would definitely steal that. Blizzard I, are known for, like, taking things and just making it better. Why not just stick with what you know and keep it on? Uh, 
you can reward if the queue is in. yeah the final fantasy 14 dungeon system is very good i'll give them credit where credit is due it, it just makes sense that way however i want to do, 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 do this I want to do this, do this, grab that, grab that, I want to learn that, J Fryer braces, J Fryer braces aren't going to do much, now are they, makes sense, then hello, Ilyu, nice to see you, There's more people popping in on the stream, that's, that's always a good thing, I, I, I actually appreciate that, quite nice to have someone to talk to to be quite, quite honest usually I'm just making videos uh, with a dog next to me and it's usually quite quiet I would love to help low levels in classic dungeons if I just got a, a reward well to be honest relative scaling to current max level would be a way <clears throat> think about it like relative scaling for dungeons means that everyone can play together even if you're a low level and you're not forced to go to max level to do the current content like you can do it at your own pace and everyone gets on it throws a water stone eevee <laughs> nah nah no no definitely not a vaporeon it's jolteon you throw you you, you throw a a thunderstone i want i want a jolteon always uh so how much gold would you estimate that run well i can tell you uh now i've gotten rid of all that stuff because if i can go into worth it we built into a nice little tool for bag value and i can default price source this that's oh ooh, six thousand three hundred and twenty seven gold that's terrible but then again it is rng so we're going for the high tickets, not like something insane. So that gold farm was terrible. The last one was 15,000 gold. So run number run number one was 15,000, nearly 16,000 gold. This one's 6,000 gold. So it really does depend. Just how much gold can you gather in like seven days with each day, two to three hours play asking for coming back to the game and want... To ask an opinion it depends what farm you do um transmog what i'm doing is high risk so you're putting in a lot of time just on the off chance you actually get something decent and overall i yeah it it, it can be rough i wouldn't do transmog mate if you're gonna make gold like two three hours a day uh honestly i would go with crafting or farming high ticket items if you want relatively decent income when it comes towards gold. Um, however, like I said earlier, the um, Battered Hilt is always a good one for me. I love that one. Uh, oh, chat. Uh, also, do you think that dual crafting and chanting are the big ticket professions? Yeah, that and alchemy. Uh, however, an underutilized one is blacksmithing. Blacksmithing is a perfectly great um, profession, especially if you're crafting old world transmog. But remember, transmog takes a long time to sell. And I know a lot of people say that transmog doesn't sell. Uh, it's because you're not doing it for long enough at, or you don't have a lot of volume when it comes towards all that stuff. By the way, I'm saving up all of these junk boxes from all of the runs for everything of the series of Instance Farmer. And yeah, so I can sell that on the auction house. Well, not sell on the auction house, what am I saying? Uh, so I can open these up in like one massive video. Um, how many characters do you regularly use for auctioning? Uh, I've been trying to keep my character count low, but it's getting a bit overwhelming. Well, to be honest, man, you can make a decent amount of gold with one character. It just depends on what you do and how long you do it for. A lot of the time is doing the same thing. When it comes towards gold making, like you're basically doing the same thing over and over again, and you'll get gold. There's there's n no two ways about it. Like if you do choose crafting, for instance, if you set up a crafting profession just to do only vanilla based stuff, you'll make gold. 
as long as you keep regularly consistent with it. It's all consistency. So it's it's like I wrote this thing in my spreadsheet of kernel. Uh, make it simple. So keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Make it repeatable. Make it profitable. And let it be scalable. That's the thing people don't understand. That's why crafting makes such a high amounts of gold because it can be scaled very easily with the initial capital you have. Um, I was trying to farm emerald whelpling, didn't really work. Any good raft dungeons to farm for mog resell? Gundrak. Gundrak is a great one for transmog. However, it will take a long time to sell. Uh, my always go to is Pit of Sauron or the Oculus. Just going in there with a skinner, farming up all of the mobs, selling the skins on the auction house for relatively fast gold, and then um, picking up all of the transmog that comes along with it. Just make sure don't only pull in the trash at the beginning and don't click on the orb, and you should be golden when it comes to that farm. Uh, I don't want to be turned into a Vaporeon. I shall refuse. How should they been? My day's been relatively good. Um, I've had a couple of coffees, so I'm feeling pretty jazzy, and I uh, figured I'd stream as I have literally no results to show people on uh, for this week as work was a little bit mental last week and I had like no time to do anything. Like I tried to log into WoW and, and relist auctions and I still failed to even do that. Yeah, I enjoyed those lockbox vids from Studen, he doesn't seem to do them anymore. Well, if I get enough of these lockboxes, mate, I'll I'll do I'll do a lockbox opening. And uh, you know what? Yeah, uh, clearly I've I've got an okay amount, but I need a lot more to do that. Uh, I have like eighteen tunes on one realm, disgustingly unorganized. Wow, player, crafting do be scaling. A couple of coffees. Let's get this. Br <laughs> what do I do for work, mate? Um, I've done a lot of things for work, but um, I'm, I'm unfortunately, uh, due to my contract, I'm not allowed to actually say what I do for work. So, yeah, sorry, mate. But um, just, 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 just so you know, like, it's nothing amazing or anything. Like, I'm just a regular guy. I'm just a regular guy obsessed with WoW. That's 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 what I do for work. The fun thing is, I've actually dropped down to part time in. Um, I've dropped down to part time uh, in gold making. Well, not in gold making. Part time in my day job because of YouTube, Patreon, and, and work. And this is half of my full time job now, which is insane. <laughs> uh, it's really late for me. Good night and good luck with, with farming. Good night, mate. Freeze, have a great one. I will see you when you awake. He's a cyber security guy. I wish, I wish I was a cyber security guy. I wish I was that talented. Dalla GG works for MI6. Dude, would I play WoW if I, if I, no oh, wait, actually, yeah, I probably would. That'd be a good facade. No. Don't play for MI6. I don't do anything amazing as a job. Uh, just regular guy. <laughs> he has given it away. But yeah, like, like I'm, I'm amazed that I've dropped down to part time when it comes towards work. And this is like, literally, half of my paycheck now. Like, like YouTube literally pays for my bills now. <laughs> so every month yeah i i can put in more time more time to do better quality videos and i love that i just found your channel like three days ago so i don't know how deep your content goes dude i've been uploading since 2016 so i've been doing this for quite a longer but if you haven't done so bro is literally the hit man ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hit man. All right, okay. Uh, <laughs> that, that, nah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that at all. 
I think I think straightforward profession videos are so in demand. Profession videos. But it's always the same stuff, man. Because you deserve it. Well, but I have put a lot of time into the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's actually quite nice to see uh, that hard work pays off. It's like the same with the game. Like I spent five grand on the game. It was doing very well. So I just, yeah. I'm just, I, I'm actually nearly done with patch 1.1 1 .1 where we're adding a new gameplay mode. I say we, it's me. <laughs> just me making the game. So uh, Void's going to come out with Rift mode and I'm going to do a massive giveaway with that. Yeah, it's going to fix a lot of the bugs as well. Uh, but but profession videos, but professions, professions, professions are always the same stuff, man. Because you're worth it. Ha! <laughs> L'Oreal. <laughs> uh, I think people don't want to give their secrets away, to be honest, lol. There's no real secrets. In, in, in my way of goal farming, man, it's always been this doing the most obvious thing for a really long time at profitably and you'll make gold. It's the obvious thing and just being able to stick with it, even if you're bored, you'll make gold. It's like, if I told you, farm Pit of Sauron Heroic for like, what? Uh, oh, 30 days, do it, do, do it once for 30 days, Pit of Sauron, Heroic, I guarantee you'll get a bad hilt and, and sell it on the auction house. You'll make gold. But if you want reliable gold, it's gathering. But then again, you like look at all this stuff when it comes towards gathering. Gathering's been destroyed. Gathering has been destroyed on the auction house with that uh, region merge. It really bugs me. I didn't play retail up until Shadowlands. I quit in Kata. You you quit in Kata? I think a lot of people did. I like paused for a while when I was studying electrical engineering in college. The problem with gold farming is sec is secret. People keep uh, it until it's not worth it anymore. There is a secret gold discord where they post new things like Onyxia scales they knew about in a week, a week before there are millions on it. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing. It's, it's keeping up to date with all the patches. Like if you read Wowhead, say you're reading Wowhead and um, I don't know, like what? <sighs> say you read Wowhead and you're looking at all the patch updates and all the updates towards the game, you can s relatively see ahead before anyone what's going to be the new ticket thing on, on gold. You shouldn't w have to wait for us to make a video on it because by the time we make a video on it, like many gold makers make a video on it, it's going to be oversaturated like almost immediately. So with me, if I watch another gold maker cover a good gold farm i will wait like one to two months before i do that gold farm uh until it thing part-time hitman oh yeah definitely um uh and it's changed drastically back in Qatar, it was so easy just craft and flip yeah no i understand you i, I remember <laughs> i didn't have to do anything in in uh in uh wow when it came towards all that stuff why did i even log on this character i could probably level him to 70 like oh uh, i'm being really lazy this expansion when it comes towards leveling my character to got like one level 70. i just can't be bothered to level it's probably that's probably why i said earlier that i want to um that's probably why i said earlier that i wanted to uh, have an XP potion back in in the game just so I can speed run the leveling process. I'm very lazy with that. 
Uh, I started a new character on the New Realms that came out in Kata and basically had a monopoly on prismatic gems and inscription. That's a very good thing to have. Oh, we sold a vial of the sands. Oh, 23 days ago. Maybe I wasn't looking, but we sold a vial of the sands. Nice. <laughs> I can't, can't complain there. Um, I probably should update TSM. TSM. Updating TSM. I've made enough gold to buy four copies of Diablo 4 for my family in 45 days. And Della is right. I'm doing exactly what he's talking about. Just be consistent. It is so true. Just pick the obvious thing at profitably, scale it, and do it over and over again. You'll make gold. The thing with gold, us content creators that like when we're making gold videos, we constantly have to do a, a new thing all the time. The reasoning behind that is because we've got to keep up with the content. Otherwise, you just trickle off. Hence why I just started the series, because then the different series is like crafting and farming. Because then it's something new, but it's also building up a market. So we're focusing on Transmog, on, for instance, gold. We're doing crafting to make gold, but we're going to do that over time and it scales. So it just works. Lol, did you see uh, the guy that got from 1 to 70 in 1 to 5 hours? Really? You got a link for that, bub? Could you drop the link for that, please? Because uh, 1 to 5 hours is pretty damn good. Wait, they removed the XP boost potion? Even the one from the garrison mission in one? I believe so. I know they got rid of the one in Mr. Pandaria. That one was really, really handy. And that made me very sad. It made me very sad. Right, just reload the UI quickly. Sorry about the tapping. I've been trying to keep that at a minimum, but I need to reload my UI. Oh, probably should just make a macro for reloading again. Oh, TSM is rebuilding. Ah, oh, cache is rebuilt. Okay, cool. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some crafting. We've got 51k on my scribe and alchemist. Probably would love to just, I would love to just do an all round gold farming. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Are we, t are we talking about potions? What's your favorite gold farm to do? My favorite gold farm to do? Um, to be quite honest, um, I'm not sure. Like, it would have to be something that was manageable. So, Diamond or Diamond Gold Farm or uh, Dark Card Thick. It's great if you want reliable gold for Dream Leaf. You can always turn that into the ink, sell that on the auction house. You can always send that over towards your scribe. That one's a very effective gold farm as you can scale out, out the mat and scale it over time, and you can make a lot of gold with that. Um, there's an XP potion in Zandala. Really? Is there one in Boralus? Because obviously I'm Alliance, I don't have a horde. No, that's the link uh, to the YouTube vid. It took me, him, 90 minutes. Next to the dock, it's from the ven from a vendor. Oh, sweet. Not gonna, not gonna say no to that. I probably should restock and stop talking for two secs. Uh, there we go. Boom. Okay, TSM, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know why it included my engineering, so let's just get rid of that. So how much is that going to cost me? 23,000 gold for 15,935 gold profit. Uh, okay, cool. Let's just start our gathering resources. Please don't let me go into my into my guild bank. Okay, it's all buy from the auction house. Um, next to the... Uh, I love the, the Nashatar farm was a lovely one. Is that for the Xenanthid, Evie? When you talk about the Nashatar farm... Because I really liked the ranks with that and how you obtained your ranks for like skinning and all that stuff. 
Uh, don't know for sure I'm Horde. Uh, maybe I should make some Horde characters because I'd love the... Uh, uh, I would love a goblin, but I just keep putting it off. It's one of those things. Uh, my neighbor's banging. Interesting. Um, well, banging on the on the roof above me. Uh, yo, how's it going, man? It's going very well, thank you very much. I'm considering making another coffee in a minute. Uh, so, inscription and what's the add-on you have? I have multiple add-ons. Which one are you talking about, mate? Are we talking about the one for restocking? Because that's Trade School Master. Uh, but also, you can check out my add-on, worth it. It will tell you good gold farms. Just download it. <laughs> No, no. Seriously, if you're if you're not a craft, if you're not a farmer, then don't worry about using um, my add-on because it's designed for mainly farmers. Because I am primarily a gold farmer. Okay, crystal vials. I need like a lot. So, meh. It was a uh, meat material farm, but oh, the skinning farm. Okay, yeah, I get you. The skinning farm for Najatar was great. I rather like that too. Oh, and uh, for making gold. For making gold, there's multiple add-ons. Uh, Trace School Master is your baseline. So if you want to make gold just regularly for crafting, Trace School Master, you just use a setup. There's a lot of free ones. Obviously, mine's on my Patreon because I put quite a lot of time into it and I do an update on it every single week. So make sure it's on the Patreon. Uh, I'm trying to make gold. If you're trying to make gold, pick something. Uh, what do you want to do? Flipping, trans, uh, flipping, farming, or crafting. Honestly, I'd probably go if you're starting out with gold making. Is go with farming until you've got enough money to invest into crafting. Uh, good morning, first time chatting your st uh, stream. Long time player, short term goblin, struggling goblin at that. Well, it depends what you want. Oh, God. The little demon is in the room. Hello, little one. By the way, that's my dog. <laughs> she's uh, she's just been asleep for a couple of hours. Um, because trying to get my tier 3. Um, TSM guide for pure beginners that isn't 15 hours long. <laughs> yeah, it's so complex to talk about. Um, Luna, come on. It's uh, it's so complex sometimes when it when you're trying to talk about um, TSM. Like I remember I made a video a while back, a, a very big while back. You can find the links to that on my Discord, by the way. Um, and it will go over base basics of TSM. But I'm happy to do another one. Would you like that broken up into a series where it's like literal pure beginners TSM guide, and then we'll go more in depth with a couple more episodes like how I construct my own strings uh, how much gold do you think is good to start with what for crafting oh yeah oh yeah yeah for crafting uh, for crafting you can get away with 100k uh, but just don't be silly with it at least so with crafting I'd start with 100k and I'd only let my average initial spend be 50k 50% because then I can restock I have enough gold floating to restock my auction house otherwise there's no point in doing it because you're just spending all of your capital to not being able to regularly restock you need to be able to regularly restock your auction house and then over time you'll be able to make gold are you from NA or EU I am from EU I am yeah, I'm Argent Dawn EU if you didn't see me when I logged out. You're more than welcome to come online and ha say hello or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm on EU. TSM is straight up ERP software now. Just translated to WoW Auctions. Log. It reminds me of the ordering system in my old job. So I understand the parameters very, very well now. It actually helped back in the day. I, you you already asked, mate. I'm from EU. Yeah, sorry, we got a little bit of a delay in in the uh, on the stream, just so everything runs a bit smoother. 
Uh, is there a way to avoid cancelling to repost at higher price? I don't cancel auctions. It's not worth my time. Um, in high volume markets like alchemy, current content stuff, yeah, you can cancel scam. But if you're just doing it on the regular, don't bother. I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't, cannot be bothered with all that stuff. Luna. Come here. Sorry, the dog's barking. She can hear someone in the other room, well, in the, uh, in, in the hallway of the, of the, uh, of the, yeah. And she's just barking at them. Uh, by the way, don't worry about these percentage rates. Um, I've already calculated for it in my TSM strings. So I don't really need to worry about buying stuff. Yeah, I would like that personally, pure basics, like setting up groups or what is a group, etc. I Well, to be quite honest, mate, I can go over what a group is in a second if you'd like, because we're going to add some more stuff to TSM for me. Can we see her, lol? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you can see my dog in a, in a minute. Um, just, um, I will have to let her out, but we'll continue the stream um, in a bit. Now she's awake, I'll probably have to let her outside for a minute. Uh, I'm more than happy to turn on the camera in a minute as well, but just let me do my thing on on here first when I'm when it while I'm crafting. Dang, heart blossom. Now that is that is that has always been a uh, a material that's always been really good. Is heart blossom from Deep Holm. You can make some decent gold from that farm, especially as Deep Holm is really good. Doggo is the best. Yeah, she's a Jack Russell cross French, so she's a mix. But uh, uh, but she looks like Scrappy Doo <laughs> from like Scooby Doo. <laughs> I mean, she's 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 a very very needy. She's very dadified. She loves her dad. Brackets me, obviously. If that's what I'm being, let's just pull out all that stuff right now. We have spent a decent amount of gold. We have spent probably about twenty k. Question: When did you uh, start playing WoW, and what you got into WoW? Uh, I've been playing WoW since. Uh, vanilla, vanilla WoW. I started playing when I was 11 years old. Um, I was on the second year of vanilla WoW when when I started playing. So I've been playing for a grotesquely long time. Oof. A very long time playing WoW. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing well for a silly amount of years And now I actually produce content for it. I have farmed almost 1k heart blossom once and after three months of posting hadn't sold a single flower. Whoa! What server are you on? If I post that today, it sells like almost immediately. Well, now we've got the region house auction house merge. That shouldn't be a problem for you. I, I hate when that happens. It's really annoying. <laughs> Come on, TSM task list. Open. You don't love me? No, what? Why, why, why is it not doing that? Yay, now we can craft. Sweet. Cool, we're crafting. <clears throat> I really hate the FPS drops when it comes towards TSM. Uh, but I love TSM as well, so I overlook it. But, like, for some reason it just causes some FPS drops every now and then, and it's really annoying. What got you into the game? What got me into the game, bro? Warcraft 3. Well, it was actually Warcraft 2, but Warcraft 3 literally came out like a month after. <laughs> so I didn't have much time in between. Um, 
at the time it was before re uh, regions so I admit I haven't tried again I just picked the game up sin uh, again since December it was on Illidan US all right okay well maybe give it another go mate don't do so many hours like stupid amounts of hours but do an hour see if it sells at least you can say you, you tried but with the region auction house merge it's not a problem selling materials anymore it's like stupidly easy to uh to do that i can't complain at all with all that stuff it is one of the rough for old world stuff since it's a raiding realm i didn't know that cheers man um i obviously i'm not a used to us servers the only one that i'm i actually have a character on which the account is not actually active at the moment is um is the one i think it's agrimar i think yeah i've got a druid on agrimar us i think she's like level 50 or something i've been playing since the real tbc and i was was for Interesting. Now I'm 21. Fair. I was 11 when I started playing, well, like World of Warcraft. The Warcraft games beforehand, a little bit longer than that. So, um, I've changed servers since then. Crafting, uh, crafting gold making was near impossible without literally cancel scanning every five minutes or less. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Seriously. I hate cancel scanning. And like trying to sell current content was just way too annoying. So I just figured there was definitely a, a better way to make gold. Nah. It's real easy now using Dalla's latest uh, grinds. And guys can turn profit pretty easy. Guides. Yeah, it's really easy to make gold uh, if you know what to look for. And I'd say that with no secrets attached. Like, crafting still works. Just be smart about it. Don't craft stuff that's not going to sell. Can you scale it? So do, can you apply volume to what you're selling? And then just make gold. And just repeat the process. Like I said before, it is literally picking something profitable and doing it over and over again while scaling up and reinvesting. You can do this with farming as well. It's the same with, with transmog. Uh, we're doing instance farming. We're farming loads of instances for transmog. We will definitely make gold, but not right now. We're going to make it later. Yeah, my mate tell me he quit this game. I'm like, no, why? They want me to get into shoot shooters like COD. Dude, if, sh if FPS shooters aren't your thing, don't bother. I can't find the TSM you're using. Um, maybe you didn't hear me earlier, mate. Um, my TSM strings are on my Patreon, unfortunately. Um, it's the only way I can justify my pa Well, I can justify that. Um, it's on the Patreon if you want it because I'm constantly updating it. And, um, that's another bonus patrons get is, um, a frequently updated TSM profile. So I try to update it every single week for everyone so they don't stay out of the loop. So I'll do the work if they so they don't have to. Farming is linear. Crafting, in theory, would have the best return on investment. Yes, it is. Uh, it just takes a long time to get there. And don't say sorry, man. You don't. You don't have to say sorry. I'm very much enjoying the stream right now. It's quite nice to talk to everyone. Pretty chill. The Zulgrub transmogs at the moment are rolling at the moment. Like some seriously good gold to be had, but if you got the time and blacksmith skills. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got the blacksmith skills. I just haven't been bothered to actually... <laughs> I haven't been bothered to even do it. Um, I know it's there. I know you can make a lot of gold with it, but I know for my server, everyone jumps on it 
almost immediately because I'm on Argent Dawn EU and there is so many gold makers on here. It's like I know students on this server as well, so and uh, and everything like that. I know loads of people who are on this server specifically, and I know a lot of people jump on this stuff, so I try and stick to my lane, what I know, and I usually stick with legacy stuff. That's why I'm never really making current content and stuff, is because I like to go for stuff that's been t tried and true for years, because then I know it works. Um, you can take the alternative route and go for, what, high risk stuff. But remember, if you're taking high risk to make gold, yeah, you can win big, but you can also lose a lot of gold at the same time. So you have to weigh the pros and cons. For me, I go for consistent, regular profit instead of high risk, high reward. I find that works long term. It's boring in some respects. However, when you get a big payday, you get a big payday. That's why I like old world crafted transmog. It may not be selling today or tomorrow or a week, but if I sell that one Titan steel shield, I'm gonna make 30K just out of the blue. Hey, stop barking at everyone. Oh, we have a thing. Discord. Pending. Oh, yep. No worries. I have accepted you as a friend, Jake the boy. On uh, Discord, just so you know. Uh, the Zulgarob transmog. Uh, the moment. This one's ready. Uh, I'm uh, US and uh, real hit and miss some weeks it's great sales others it can be kind of draining uh since starting your guides i've been targeting more solid dungeons and raid team of farming yeah you can balance it out with crafting and farming i would split i would split it to two bankers just so you know what's working quite well this time it's so like if farming is progressing better than your tr crafting still do your crafting but do more of your farming instead of more of your crafting. So whatever is doing well at that moment in time, you scale up and scale back on the other thing. Unless you can put the same amount of time into both. But I'd rather be more time efficient than that. Yeah, I sell like 20 Anixia scales and they sell over 2,000. I mean, 20K for a stack. Thank you, sir. Um, Silly question, where are you getting your Anixia scales? If I may ask, Jake. I'm curious now where you're getting your Anixia scales. But, um, oh, that's the one thing with inscription. You're constantly having to craft inks. It takes forever. Especially with the Ysera line seeds. Ysera line seeds, you're always having to go back to the auction house to mill more. I did use to batch uh, batch loads and just have it crafting in the background while I was watching like YouTube or editing a video. Skinning in the next year, I guess. Yeah, that would be the obvious answer. <laughs> Thanks, Hope. <laughs> but yeah, don't think she was skinnable. Yeah, she's a dragon. She should be skinnable. I really haven't gone into the Anixia's layer for a long time since I got the Anixian mount on uh, on this rogue. Back in like Legion, I got it, so I haven't gone in there for a long time. But um, yeah, yeah. There's always new stuff to find and figure out. It's like there's loads of rare mobs like out in the old world that people don't farm yet yeah, drop really some really rare loot from an Ixia. yeah okay you skin her so you got like what how many skinners jake i'm guessing you're doing it on multiple skinners per week hey ria 
Hey, how you doing? It's nice to see you. I always recommend, I always see your comments on the videos. It's nice to see you in stream. I only got her in December last year. Was happy to be done with the, that grind. Yeah, I was really lucky with my Invincible mount though. I got it on the first run. <laughs> I was so happy with that. And then there was my mate who was putting in like the last two years to get uh, Invincible and I get it in the first run. Skinner, I barely know her. <laughs> Rob, I thought you had gone away from... Uh, so it's nice to see you back in chat. Lol. Oh yeah. Inscription. Now this is a, this has been a fun this this is a fun stream. It's nice to talk to everyone. Yeah, good day to you. Hope you are well. I'm doing brilliant. I'm probably gonna make another coffee in a minute. Um, but uh, but yeah, definitely. Uh, I hope you're having a great day, Ria. No way. No way. Just lurking. No worries, Rob. You can stay lurking if you want, mate. I, I, honestly, that's it. Hey, did it? That's something Callan messaged me. For anyone who doesn't know, Callan is the other Worth It developer who helps make uh, the add on Worth It. He was telling me about the Blazing uh, Hippogriff. I. Has that run out yet? And who got the blazing hippogriff from the uh, tri Twitch uh, Twitch drops? Because uh, I didn't do it. The only thing I wanted was that blazing uh, the the uh, fell drake. Bro, I just been selling uh, grins and mog stuff on AH to get sales. Fair enough. So, Jake, on your personal opinion. Personal opinion, what do you think is your favourite farm for selling MOG at the moment? Because my favourite Transmog farm of all time is is obviously Dire Maul. And you guys got it. Oh, you both got the Blazing Hippogriff. Well done. Nice. I got... Oh, oh, oh. I did get that thing from the, the Magenta Cloud Serpent from the... Uh, <laughs> from the uh what's it called trading post there we go we got there in the end always get lost for words sometimes it's really annoying i was really nervous to start streaming but you guys have made it really easy it ends tomorrow right uh goes for a week it's all i got it already personally was a lot more excited for the cool ethereal portal. Hearthstone toy. Always wanted that one. I've been running that. You got me into that. I saw your vid. Rhea. The ethereal port, uh, port, portal Hearthstone toy. Yeah. I can agree with you there. And Jake. Diamore I love. I love Diamore. And that sometimes it isn't even profitable to run it. But I just love it. I don't know what it is about that gold farm. I ha I know exactly where to turn, what to do, do, how to farm it in the least amount of time possible. It ends today at midnight. Yes. Okay. Right. If as if like Asmund Gold or someone else is playing or Towley are online, I'll watch them for four hours and then get get the get the mount. So you can ha have a stream on mute and play it. That's what I did with Asmund Gold. <laughs> I I just shoved him on mute while I was watching YouTube at the same time. Yesterday I was about to make a comment on your video why you don't stream. Nice to see you streaming. It's good to watch and listen while I work. D OP, I literally the other half has been bugging me to do streaming for the last couple of months, and so is Bunny on the Discord. They've both been like, John, you should stream. John, stream, stream. John, please, stream. And I'm like, okay, fine. 
And I, obviously I don't have any videos for this week because everything got messed up by my day job. So I was like, oh, okay. Time for a nap, see you later, Dalla. Rob, have a good nap, mate. I will see you when you will rise. But yeah, like, so I figured streaming was a good option. Um, get it all sorted out. Obviously I, I fired up the uh, stream like a couple of micro ones just to make sure it wasn't weird and, and thingy. Is that your name, John? Yeah, it's my name is uh, John, um, but it's J-O-N. So let me type into chat, John. Because it's uh, obviously short for Jonathan, but I prefer John, just makes sense. Or, or you can just say Dalla, that makes sense. How much gold uh, do you got? It depends. <laughs> um, in what in what sense gold? Like liquid gold? So in liquid gold at the moment, I think I've got around about 11K. I, my highest I ever had was around about 56 million. No, not 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 11k. It's a 11 million gold. Sorry, um, but the highest amount of gold I ever had was 56 million, and then I uh, spent it on loads of stuff. My name is my name is on this username. Yeah, it makes sense, Jake. <laughs> it makes it really easy to say your name. Mans have all max on all gold caps. Yeah. Yeah, I I was I was like hyper going for it. There's obviously loads of people that hold hold their gold, but the reason I like to make gold is so I can buy the stuff that I want. So, the highest amount I ever had was 56 million gold. Then I sold bought a load of stuff off the auction house and all that stuff so I could buy the stuff that I want in game. And that's why I really want more gold sinks. Just give me some gold sink mounts and I will be happy. It would be so much easier for me. And it would bring the community together. Do you remember what happened with the Brutosaur? The Brutosaur brought the entire gold making community together and it really, yeah, it just exploded the gold making community because everyone wanted the Brutosaur. It was one thing, one focal point everyone went after and Everyone banded together. I remember communicating and collaborating with everyone at that, that time. I even went daily at that point. I bought all, all all PvP gear each season, so I have over 10 to 20 million each season. Dude, OP, you were doing very well, man. But at the moment, I just... I'm not... How would I say? Like if I wanted to make a stupid amount of gold... I would do current content and be hyper competitive. But um, there's a high risk, high reward for that. I was like 3 million off to get it. I was so sad. Aw. Dude. That's not fun. Uh, I quit most, most of uh, Shadowlands because early on I couldn't f afford the 100k crafted gear pieces. I hated being gold blocked from gearing. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Gold blocked by gearing, it shouldn't be a thing. Uh, however, gold sink mounts, so an achievable mount in game, yeah, I can understand that because that's not linked to player power or anything. You're not capped with the amount of gold you have for how strong your character can be. However, you're capped with how much gold you can get a hold of for gold sink mounts. It's the same with other things like toys and that. It's like, give us the cosmetic stuff for gold making, the high value. Just make an NPC and sell all of the high value stuff. That would be really handy. It makes sense. It really would make sense. It'd be one of those things. Your Sarah line seeds. Let's scan the auction house. Do, do, do. Probably should go back to Zulfrak in a bit. Is it going to give me enough roseate pigment or do I have to go back on the auction house? Y 
you do PvP? I used to do PvP with this rogue, actually. Um, I don't do PvP anymore. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really do PvP anymore. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I kind of got off of... Um, went off of PvP a while back. I used to be really big into it. But now I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, really? One roseate pigment? Come on, then. We'll just buy it off the auction house. It's not going to deplete our gold reserves by that. There we go. Close that down. Where are you? Yeah, if you're worried that you're going to lose gold by buying one thing a little bit over the market value of TSM, then you probably shouldn't be crafting. <laughs> Would be fun to watch you do a BG instead of sh uh, Shadowlands milling. Shadowlands milling? I'm not sh Is it Shadowlands? No, it's Legion. Your Sarah Lion seeds. No, fair enough, dude. If you have to go to sleep, go to sleep. Would be awesome. And, uh, no, nah, I'm not really big into, um, things. So I'm just recrafting, really doing all that stuff, having a chat with everyone. Let's see how things go. I may need to do another dun, uh, do a bit more dungeon farming or something. When you played, uh, did you get some really, uh, something really rare? What PvP? Um, no, not particularly. Uh, I only really did it for fun. I don't know. I prefer Shadowlands Millie over BGs. I'm not Shadowlands Milling though. We've got Cataclysm, Herbs. We've got stuff from the old world. We're just making our glyphs up. Can you make a lot of gold with milling? Yes, you can. Depends what you think. Actually, um, if you want to make gold with milling, uh, we bet you built this into Worth It. So if you jump into Worth It, load it up. Don't forget to set your config in configuration. Um, I'll drop this in this TSM string in the chat. Um, however, and you go to flipping and then you go to milling and it will tell you what's profitable to mill to sell. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. You have all the tools um, to no PVE. Um, with PVE, did I get anything decent with PVE? Um, I've got a lot of the mounts and um, Yeah, basically, yeah, uh, nothing major. I've got a lot of the old world stuff, so I've got like a lot of the I I like the soul uh, hammer of sulfurus, the legendary from Ragnaros. I got that. Uh, uh, did I miss the jigger, uh, doggo? No, Evie, you did not miss the doggo. However, I am going to take five minutes to just let her out, and then I'll probably turn on the camera after that in a minute. Just let me finish my inscription crafting. Like things that have been removed. Um, things that have been removed from game. Mm, nothing rings a bell off the top of my head. I probably have some things that have been removed from game. But, um, yeah, a lot of the things got removed when I got hacked back in Cataclysm. My account got hacked and then it got permabanned. So I don't actually have my original account. 
so I don't have my original stuff. So I would have a lot more if my account didn't get destroyed. Well, my original account. Thanks, bro. Uh, that's a hot commodity. Cigar uh, signets are a hot commodity. Hey, Della, uh, a fellow gold farmer here. Are you aware of the titanium ore prospect flip or... I am aware of the titanium ore prospecting flip. Uh, it depends, though. Because if too many people do it, it won't be profitable anymore. Just be warned. However, I do like doing transmutations from saronite bars to titanium bars. You can make a lot of gold, especially if you've got a transmutation master. I don't know if you saw my message earlier. What, uh, what breed is your dog? Oh, sorry, I re I'm a little, <laughs> sorry, I probably didn't. Um, she is a Jack Russell cross with a French Bulldog. Yeah, and she looks like Scrappy-Doo. Damn, man. Well, they let you uh, let back on it. No, um, I tried to log in with the old email address and everything, and the old account's dead. It's... Um, if I ever did get it back, uh, I was Blazo on Thunderhorn EU. And if I ever got that account back, you would see a lot of the old uh, Wrath of the Lich King full full set stuff. Like, yeah. Because I was only like part-time raider when, when I was younger. Because I've always been into gold making. Because my friend Zach was great at PvP. And my other friend Max was like the, a beast at, at raiding. And then there was me who wasn't really good at either. And then, but I was actually good at gold making. So I stuck with gold making. Uh, I'm a friend of Sky Wise. So you know I'm a farmer. Well, I hope... Uh, what, what, what have you been farming, Shy? I'm going to shorten your name to Shy. It'll be easier for me. Um, what have you been farming lately if you were a gold farmer? Question mark. She sounds like a cutie. She is very cute. She's very needy, my Evie. She's, um, she's currently by my feet right now. You should tell Blizzard. Man, it's been so long. I think the account's actually all gone. I'll see. I'll see. Oh. Uh, I'll see if I can get try and get it back. Is the account not in your name the one you don't have anymore? Um, I remember the the account should be under my name, but the payment method obviously when I was like that time I wasn't able to pay for anything. So it should yeah it should be in my account in my name the account i should be able to get it back but it's dependent if i can actually get back into that email as well I, I, i'll tell you what i'll try and see if i can get into back into the email and if i can get back into the email for the account then i'll try and see if i can open the ticket up and try and get that account reset that would make sense but it not i got my account back last year just contacted blizzard i'll try and see I'm guessing you opened the ticket, OP. Oh, I also found an account that found vanilla. Dude, man, that would be awesome. Um, did, but uh, OP, did you go and get a ticket by any chance? Any gold farm that makes raw gold, that is good at the moment. Um, I'm not into gold raw gold farming. Uh, sorry, ma'am. I'm not into raw gold farming. Uh, you don't need the email. Really? What do you need? They will look for every, every account with your name and claim into your own account now. Really? That's good to know. Uh, my main farm at the moment for me on server ERU ER, is the Firelands Tiny Chest Farm. Yes, 
Are, are we talking about the one that you can combine with skinning, Shy? Because that's good. Ice hole fishing in a Zuna span with, with the buff active is a good gold print at the moment. Azure span. Really? Fishing is actually profitable at the moment for, for spamming? Why did... Why did Dang, I'm out of the loop. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna try this. Okay, right. Okay, shy. Leave that with me with the Azure span. Freehold, not a fan with freehold, but uh, freehold for raw gold is still pretty good farm, so I can agree with shy there. That's a good one. Blizzard doesn't delete accounts. I'm pretty sure they will release old character names, but your account should still be there. I'll try and see if I can get it back then. Yes, you opened an account ticket. Okay. Let me get my notepad out. Okay. Um, open ticket. Hold account. I've got to write this stuff down because my memory is absolutely terrible. Um, ooh. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, it, Azure Span. Azure span. We'll give that a go in a, in a bit, actually. Do you want to do that? Want me to explain the fishing method as it's not just fishing? I'm guessing you're fishing the pools, Shy. But you can explain if you like, um, and we'll see when we'll go from there, yeah? Sorry for the wall of text, but you guys will like this. Yes, please. Um, first time caught you live. Uh, this is actually the second actual stream I'm at, I've ever actually done. The only other stream I've ever done was in 2020. Actually, qu quick question. Type Y in the chat if you'd like me to do more streams. But um, we can we can test out fishing in uh, Azure Span. But uh, I uh, I would love to see this before I take the dog out for a thing for the toilet. If you know what I mean, you kind of got to let the dog out for the toilet. Ice hole fishing with the buff is a gold print in Azure Span. You need to uh, wait. Everyone's spamming. Two six. <laughs> Oh yeah, because I asked for why. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's like uh, you need to re Tusca. Oh, so it takes a while to set up. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to screenshot that. Yep. And I will post that in Vent for myself. This is my private chat with it. Uh, so so I can remember to do that later because obviously everyone's typing in in the chat. Why, 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 why? Sweet. Sweet. <clears throat> uh, the fish you get from the holes are rim Uh This is important though. Right click the fish and within an hour. Okay, so it works kind of like the Legion fish uh, for the buff. Okay. Luna, come on. Stop barking. Once they spoiled after one hour, right click again and pure profit. Okay, going to grab that, do that, and then save save that to that. Rusing frost, air decay, all that stuff to dark moon cards. Interesting, interesting. Alchemy. Why is alchemy not loading up correctly? Cards, rooting frost. Is that, you mean you mean this? Uh, you mean Discord? Yes, Vent is a channel in my Discord for basically me and my, me and the Discord mods. I just typically I tend to just spam stuff in there. I don't know why my alchemy is bugging out. Reload the UI. The buff makes you where you have uh, rates of drop. Fair. This is interesting. You don't always get packs. Really? 
I, 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 I'm not too sure. I haven't really done much fishing in this expansion, uh, to be quite frank. There we go. Don't know why it was bugging out. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, so, this is interesting. This is an interesting golf farm. I'll, um, I'm very interested in doing that. However, I pro probably should really, like, level my characters up to level 70. I got, like, I should probably at least get all of my characters up to level 70. Um, right, so enough of you guys have said why. So, okay, we'll do more regular streams. You can play classic also. I'm not sure everyone wants... Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just say it. Okay, one more in the chat, guys. Who wants me to play retail on streams? Who wants me to play classic on streams for gold making or leveling or what have you? Let's let's see it in the chat and we'll make a decision off of that. I'm pretty certain it'll be retail. If it helps, I have speed set druid. How much? How much I farm low? Yeah, I have a speed set as well, but I don't generally like use it. Because when I'm doing my farming videos for like instance farmer, I want to do it on reliable uh, metrics because not everyone has a. Um, not everyone has a speed set, so I I'd rather just take my speed set off. If I'm doing a video on a particular farm, then I can give a bit more of a reliable information towards everyone because you want to give the most easier method. Because if you say you can do a golf farm in 20 minutes, but that's with a speed set, and then it takes you 30 minutes, and then people do it, it takes them 30 minutes, you've just, uh, the majority of people don't generally have a speed set. So, yeah, both retail, retail, I'm good with either, both retail for sure, retail. Okay, people like retail. Okay. Uh, retail, you know what, retail or classic, okay. Fine. <laughs> I can do both. Easy. We could just alternate it each stream. Who fancies that? Wait, did we learn something while I was thinking? We did. I just saw that in the replay on on the thing. Uh, it's it's a buff on the rotation of Dragonflight fishing zones. The best time to use the buff is the usual spam with the ice holes. Uh, okay, haha. Ha. Uh, gonna jump on it now. Yeah, seriously, jump, jump, jump on a gold farm. You know what? We could use this as a brainstorming session for gold making. Couldn't we? I love this idea of just like mi mixing up all the different stuff. Right. Do do do. Oh, oh, hello, my document files coming on the screen you will see my hard drive <laughs> actually to be honest it's just full of like images because i've been like creating new assets and widgets for void i probably should do that and then do this so i don't go afk um right if that's the case guys i'm just gonna uh break five minutes I'm going to put this up on the screen, uh, post that in the chat. I'm going to go for a five minute break and then we'll get back to talking, all right? I even made a little thumbnail for everyone. So give me give me a break for five minutes. I'm going to let the dog out um, to go to the loo and then we'll get on with that, okay? Sound good? I'll be back in five minutes. I'll put the mic on uh, block.
Okay, we're back. So back to crafting and all that jazz. We were AFK. Okay, just give me one moment. I want to see if I if I've still got it all set up. The webcam. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bloody hell. I proper proper hit the screen there. Need to adjust that. Oof. Hello. <laughs> so obviously very different from what we're used to when I did do the streaming thing. Let's sort out the camera. Why is the camera being weird? Hello. It's nice to see everyone. But um, <clears throat> Evie, you still there? Evie? Yeah, face reveal. Fa face reveal has been around for a long time, buddy. I just don't use the camera that much. Uh, I'm back with an ex explanation, Marky. Marky, hello there. How is everyone? Bagama. But yeah, I, standard procedures and all that stuff. So, uh, dog. We want dog. You want dog, Luna? Just, just one moment, please. Let me just pull up my OBS. Just double checking it's still there. Cool. Okay. We want dog, Luna. Come here. Hello. Ah. So this is the little demon. Yeah. She is very, very cute, very hyperactive, and she loves her daddy. Yes, she do. Yeah. That's Luna. She is my editor. So all of the fancy editing that's been on recently, she's been doing it. I've trained her very well. She does my editing while I sleep. Man looks like a chad. <laughs> I wouldn't say a chad, I'm actually very skinny. Yeah, Lu Luna is, uh, oh, <laughs> she wants to come back up. Yeah, uh, yeah, she's on stream. Settle down. You're good. Yeah? Yeah, happy? Yeah, we're talking, talking to us. Yeah, you want to speak into the mic? Yeah? No, you want down. <clears throat> well, make a decision, Luna. You can stay up or you can stay down, but you're going to have to be still if you sit on my lap. My other... <clears throat> Sorry, two secs. <clears throat> my other half was trying to tell me to uh, put her on a stream today. <laughs> um, but yeah, dog. <laughs> really? <laughs> the dog. Luna? Luna? Fair. She, she's the expert gold farmer and someone's driving a car really fast past her our house the cutest editor in the world yes most definitely she's also incredibly gifted at keeping me up all night like the other night someone was shouting and screaming um and outside and she would not stop barking and i had about two hours sleep and then i had to go do like an 11 hour shift it was painful puppers puppers little bit for puppers oh <laughs> Help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she 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 loves it. By the way, I I made a coffee while I was um taking that break and letting her out to go to the loo. I hope you don't mind my my throat was getting really dry when I was talking. But yeah, currently doing alchemy at the moment for our restocking. We've spent quite a decent amount of gold. Uh, I have no clue how to update the uh, Instance Farmer Gold Sheep. Well, no, not the Instance Farmer Gold Sheep. McCade. Aww, some nice little emojis. Dap. Oh, is that a dap emoji? I can't tell. Fair. I do like a cup of coffee, though. Um, Where is it? It's on my Crafter Gold Sheep. You know, yeah, 
my crafted gold sheets. Uh, where is it? Zathrash. So we can update that to be restock. Because he's basically just restocking for profit at this moment in time. Restock. So that's current. That's immediately updated on the Patreon for that gold sheet. Hope everything is well, fam. Yeah, it is. Everything is well at the moment. I'm really happy. the The move was very, very stressful. Like moving into a new place and everything. But the internet is so good. I can stream now. <laughs> uh, how how you like your coffee? Um, I just make a latte. It's a vanilla latte. I just do it myself. It takes like two seconds to do. The only problem is I don't know when to stop drinking. But um, yeah, so like when like I've got loads of different types of syrups because um, I like a flavored coffee. And then sometimes I, I just like to go for a fl uh, plain espresso. It was like my, me and my friend Raul we went to his hometown in uh, Portugal and he got me hooked to just having straight up espresso shots. Oh yeah, moving sucks, love. Yeah, yeah, it really does. It really does. It was so stressful. Like, I was literally holding my computer set up in the car because I was like, this is not... I, I didn't want to break it, <laughs> obviously. You spend so much on the hardware. The good thing is, however, I can write off any upgrades on the computer or new stuff for the streaming setup uh, as an expense because this is technically self-employed. So I can actually write off uh, a decent chunk of it, which is handy. What do you think about tea? I love a cup of tea, mate. The only problem is... While we're streaming, I can not I can make a cup of tea, but it will take a little bit longer. And I want to get back to you guys as fast as possible. So I'll just use the coffee machine and deal with that a bit easier. It just works. The Mad Alchemist potion sells rather well. <clears throat> Actually, so when we're going into TSM... So, oh, sorry, I've only got one player selected at the moment. So it will show a little bit of weirdness. Um, when I go into my TSM setup, I break it down into crafting, farming, flipping, shopping, and vendor gold. Um, in my TSM setup for crafting, let's say we have the sell rate one. It's a really simple TSM string. I'll link it in chat. My computer sits on the floor between the front and back seat with blanket security in it when I travel with it. Geeky. My computer is currently sat uh, underneath my computer desk on the floor as well, so I understand you. Uh, there's my TSM string for crafting. It's one of many that I have. However, it's just a, a nice one for you guys to just have and use. Um, what it does, it basically will ask what the region cell rate is. And based upon the region cell rate, if it is can be crafted at 20% crafting and it has a 0.1 sell rate then it will craft that thing so basically if it can be crafted at a profit and it has a high sell rate of 0.1 then craft it at x amount of things you can change the uh, string for whatever you like so db region uh, sale rate that's my preferred method you can pick whatever what you want to go off of however that's what i prefer um this is all built into my tsm profile which is actually on the patreon but the tsm string i can just give you it's fine hi Della, we love you please upload this to your channel i'm working now um dude uh Rodrigo, uh, this will automatically go up on the YouTube. Also, I was thinking of splicing it. So obviously the stream is at two hours, 15 minutes now. If I just go through and just cut out little snippets that I think are good, 
I'll upload them and then everyone can catch up if if you so wish. Because the, the reason I'm streaming is because work was a bit mental. If you guys are just jumping in and I had no way of making a video today uh, because I didn't have the necessary data for updating spreadsheets. So I figured a nice little stream to talk to everyone and everything would be a nice way to go about this. So, yeah. Uh, the only, the, the one thing that I really hate at the moment when it comes towards uh, what do I edit with? One moment, I will get back to you, Jake. The one thing I hate at the moment after the move is I had to get rid of my computer chair because it was busted and old and I'm still waiting for the new one to come. So I'm currently using a fold-out chair to work on off of. It's very uncomfortable. Uh, what do you edit with? Jake, I edit with Premiere Pro. Just at Premiere Pro and I use GIMP to edit my thumbnails. I don't know why fire oil is coming up as another thing. Maybe I, I ran out of uh, vials, maybe? Fire fin snappers. Oh, there wasn't enough on the auction house, maybe. I don't know. We'll double check it. We'll see how things go. No. Oh, okay. The dog is currently... <laughs> She's asleep on the floor like a banana. Thanks, Loon. You're a very supportive editor. Oh yeah, I don't edit. I don't edit with Premiere Pro. Luna edits with Premiere Pro. Remember, the dog is the editor. But yeah, no, on a serious note, um, Premiere Pro, uh, do my thumbnails with. Is it easy? Um, <clears throat> Premiere Pro, yes and no. It depends what you want to do. If you want to do... Uh, editing like mine you're going to have a little bit more of a learning curve when you're trying to make your videos if not and you just want to do a basic video you shouldn't have a problem just learn how to cut and move things should take a 10 20 minute tutorial to teach you all the basics um, if you want to do any flashy fancy stuff it's going to take you a lot longer but realistically when it comes to me editing and I'm trying something new, I literally just mess around with it until I find something that works or I look up a tutorial if I need something really specific that I need. That's how I do my videos, Jake. It's like the other day. I really didn't want to do a gold making video the other day. Um, uh, yes, I use shortcuts, Jake. <laughs> um, um, but there's not really many shortcuts to um, Premiere Pro in regards to the learning curve. You literally get better by doing more videos every single time. Um, what, what was the other thing? It was more like how do I how do I even say it? It is um, I've lost my trail of thought. Ah, not to worry. Not the end of the world. We're still crafting. We're still doing stuff. Uh, I'm I'm quite happy with the way the stream's going quite 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 well at the moment right now. <laughs> Two hours, nineteen minutes. Not too bad. Not too shabby. We're just doing crafting and restocking in uh, Storm Shield. But yeah, like currently I would love to do this on one note with like worth it. I would love to add more farms, but it's finding the time to do all of the farms because I really want to fill out the fishing because fishing looks horrible for me. But I'd like to have fishing in every single zone. The same with mining, herbalism, all that stuff. Really like that idea. Um... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's it, I don't know. I don't. I, it's fine. Not the end of the world. Oh, we need more crystal vials and fire fin snappers. You know what? Let's just open up a gathering list for the thingy. 
Right, I need more crystal vials. Let's buy these. I just saw something in the thing. Do you play, pay your editor? Well, my dog. My editor, my doggo, she gets paid with biscuits. Lots of biscuits. Uh, yeah, she, she, she's a good girl. She does bark a lot if, uh, if she hears someone in the hallway or something. But she is a very loving little doggy. More fire fin snappers. I don't know why TSM didn't pick up on that, but eh, not the end of the world. We can just go back to this, grab that, go back to here, and then we can post that on the auction house once again. Uh, why did I just jump on my Brutosaur? We can go back in, go back to crafting, finish up these crafts, so to speak. Is that like <clears throat> how do? I I'm, you know what? I'm really enjoying this stream. It's quite fun. It's a bit weird that I've put the webcam back on because uh, I've never really used the webcam that much. I used to use it all the time. Have you ever? Uh, have you ever want to go to the USA? I've been to the USA quite a few times actually, um, but not many states. So I've been to New York. And I've been to Florida, and that's about it. One place I've always liked the idea of going to is uh, Maine. I would like to go to Maine. It just looks pretty. But um, but si but seriously, I I I spent like two years living in Canada. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed living in Canada for. For those two years and that's how I started this YouTube channel I was bored I had no friends in Canada so I started a YouTube channel on wow and that's never go to Arkansas uh, boots why why don't go to Arkansas mate um obviously I'm not clued up on all this stuff it would be yeah yeah, then why? Got gotta say, this makes the 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 scorpid farming way more fun, better than a podcast. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, if I if I can get some some of the other guys, um, other gold makers, they can always jump on the stream. We can always have a chat while we're doing gold making and all that stuff. To be quite honest, it's not. To be honest, it's just nice to talk to someone. Because usually, this is my typical day. When I'm making the videos for you guys, they take at least 13 hours, 20 hours, depending on the farm or what I'm actually doing, the editing, everything else, for one video. And it's usually me just sat here, doing all of the crafting and all the stuff, all the boring work, to show you the end video in that four minutes, five, six minutes video. So it's all, all 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 the boring work. I'm just sat here, just with YouTube playing random stuff that I've picked and put on my watch later list. It's um it's quite fun. Scorpid scale farming. Where hey nort nort, where are you doing your scorpid scale farming? I'm really curious because I like scorpid scale farming. Well, I used to. However, I don't have it in worth it. So if you've got a decent place to farm him, we could add it into worth it if you've got an hour's worth of farming under your belt. I'm being serious. Like, that, that would be really handy. But yeah, like, um, what is it? Worth it guides. So <clears throat> I've been meaning to update Worth It Guides with a rebuild, but it's finding the time to do the rebuild because I'm currently working on Void's patch 1.1. I really like the idea of Rift mode. Okay, so can I, 
I'm back. I heard you you talking about self employment taxes, lol. That stuff is, is for the birds, man. I had to get get an accountant to help me. Oh no, dude, taxes aren't that hard. The taxes aren't that hard if you're self employed. I think we all overthink them, Oliver. I think we all overthink them, especially if you live in the UK. If you live in the UK, you shouldn't have a problem with filing your own taxes every year. Just make a spreadsheet up, what comes in, what goes out, keep a track of your receipts, and you should be fine. You have other little tax breaks, but realistically, if you just want to do the bare min, you're good. When I saw your face, you looked like you're in a rock band or or someone from 2010, like you look like a 16-year-old. Thank you, I'm nearly 30. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a compliment, Jake, or, or, or not. But to be quite honest, I'm keeping my, my hair the way it is until as long as I can, because if I, I'm anything like my old man, I'm going to be bold or balding in a relatively short manner. I'm not going to keep those crystal files. I can't be bothered with them. Bah ha 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 ha. Okay, right. Let's post this to the auction house because we're still doing loads of stuff. Apparently, so I actually set up so it doesn't actually post my inking set because I kept posting it to the auction house. Let's just spam click these all to the auction house and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, that's restocked on the auction house. Luna, stop barking. Uh, so currently we have 26,000 gold, 26,701 gold on the in our bags and we have a posted auctions of 116,336 gold on our auction. Oi, stop it. <clears throat> uh you look like Max Max Johns. Uh fair there, mate. Good morning. Uh, uh, good Monday start watching Dalla a GG at work. How are you guys finding time to watch me at work? I, I, I can never find the time to actually watch anything at work. I'm always, always like, <sighs> just constantly. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I, w I wish I, w I had that ability to be able to just stick my phone on and just listen to a stream for most of the day. I do that with podcasts in the mornings. I tried LBRS resetting and made about 10K per hour. I did a Silithus run and made close to 40K. Silithus is not bad. It's a good gold farm. However, RNG, but 40K, well done. That's pretty good. So we've done that and we've added that to the auction house. That's not too bad. Do, 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 do. Schedule Monday reset. Okay, fine. Um, what do we need to reset? You know what? Uh, Taylor. Taylor would be a good one. Uh, multiple monitors. Yes, I have two monitors. I was considering getting a third one, but I was like, I think that's a little overkill for because I, I really don't need any more than two monitors. Like, I can look at you guys on the second monitor, and I can look over here. My TSM is not updated. I probably should update it. I don't like having it running all the time in the background, so I just turn it off and then I turn it on again when I want. I can never uh, get started in the morning at work. I'm a real big early morning person, so early morning stuff is my kind of thing. Keeping in mind the prices are, are rising due to patch news, etc., yeah, well, well, we can have a look at the weekly economy update in a second if you like. Just uh, let me update my TSM quick. Do do do. Um, I mean Mitch Jones. Who who's? Sorry guys, what is Mitch Jones? Uh, let let me Google this. <laughs> Mitch Jones. He's thirty. Okay, he's an American Twitch streamer. Okay, okay, he's got hair kind kind of like mine, so I get I get what you mean. I need at least an hour of sitting there pretending like I'm working, Oliver. I can respect that. Min max, min max work. 
<laughs> I could, you know, you can do that. Uh, reload the UI. <clears throat> oh, damn. Did you hear my voice there? Damn. That was not too fun. That was uh, a little bit funny. Oh, cash. Oh, cash is updated. Okay, cool. Right. Let's go into our restocking method. Just click a profession. Go to restock. We get our tailoring and enchanting. Restock group thing. Uh, I, I have three monitors at work, two for for work, at least one for a stream or YouTube. Respect, Rest, respect, total respect there. Uh, same, man's getting old, lol. Yeah, well, we all get old, bud. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, so. That's why I was thinking, I was, that, that's, uh, that was, that was like one of the things that I was thinking about because obviously I'm 30 this year and I was like, I want to do a little bit more than just gold making um, in general. Hence why I made Void because then I can actually say I actually made a game. I was actually thinking about trying to get uh, get a job in uh, like game development, even if it's like an internship. Three monitors for work was a game changer. Uh, and the truth, none of us get any younger. None of us do get any younger, mate. But to be quite honest, I, I, I still feel the same as like I was like at 22. I still feel the same. Why my phone? Oh, okay. That's just the bank messaging. Okay. Never mind. I thought it was something interesting. Okay, so let's have a look. What do we actually need? Yes, we can't cheat time forever. We can't cheat time forever, but we can make the most of what we've actually got. And to be quite honest, chatting with you guys is kind of a nice time way to spend my time. As much as that may sound weird in some respects, if you know what I mean. So, okay, so how much rune thread do we need? We need 30 of that. I don't know why TSM doesn't work in that way. Oh, wait, because we... Close it down. Re Reopen. No. Ah, oh, screw it. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm just going to buy this stuff just by reading it off the thing. I felt old at 22 as well. I don't know, I feel... Like, I age really quick in four years. I quit exercising. Dude, I still exercise every day. Even though I'm a twiglet, I'm very skinny. I, I still do some, a variation of uh, exercise every day. Because um, I know eventually my... Um, I know eventually my... What's it called? Metabolism. Metabolism will just dissipate as I get older. So I'm getting in the habit, uh, well, I am in the habit of exercising every day to try and prevent that. Sorry, Della, uh, when I mentioned Silithus and LBRS, uh, I was meaning the Scorpid Scale Farming for upcoming Nax recipes. Fair play. Getting back into the last three or so months, feels it feels great. I feel old when, when I'm 21. Damn, I miss the old herbs. Herbs. Um, what is your takeaway choice? Katya, my takeaway choice is, of course, Chinese. I like a Chinese. Uh, exercise is essential. I've been doing 30 minutes of cardio every day. Oliver, keep it up, bud. Seriously. If you can keep up with that and you can do that every single day, it'll not only make you feel better, it'll just keep you uh, doing your thing. But yeah, like I, I add it into my morning routine. So uh, my, my, my partner... She'll be asleep, and I wake up at like five, six in the morning anyway because my body clock um, always wakes me up. 
I will just exercise when she's asleep. And then by the time she wakes up, I'm awake and I've already exercised. I've done my morning routine. I've done some gold making and all that stuff. And then I can spend time with my partner. So it's like a massive boost. It works quite well. Green dye. Uh, 20 green dye. Oh, fair play. That works quite well, if you ask me. I have no idea what that voice was. <laughs> uh, I think I'm overtired. Probably. Love Chinese, but it is really hard to find a good one. Do you know what? I... I have probably only one decent Chinese near me now. Where I used to live, there was one as well. That was really good. They had like these big pieces of beef and chicken. And I was just like, special fried rice, please. Thank you very much. And I could just devour that. But my favorite part of Chinese is a chicken chow mein for sure. It was weird when I ordered one in Canada. When I lived in Canada, I ordered a Chinese, uh, just chicken chow mein. I asked, chicken chow mein, oh, I love it. So I went with that, that's my default. I got it, and oh my God, it is not what I was used to. When I when I order a chicken chow mein, I expect a certain level of stuff. And it, it was like completely the opposite, and I just looked at it, I was like, get it away from me. <laughs> Uh, I remember that because that was on my birthday and uh, my mate Toby bought it. Hell yeah, chicken chow mein. Yes, boots, chicken chow mein. I can eat the whole thing. Do you know what? I have a weird thing. I love buying a chicken chow mein, shoving it in the fridge and if it's cold, in the, obviously, by the morning, I will just eat that for breakfast. It tastes so good. Leftover chicken chow mein in the morning. This is good. I still do it even now. I'm new to TSM and I have a bank alt to send my stuff to. Now can I make items with other classes without making a dupl duplicate item? Um, it depends what you mean. Um, it really does depend what you mean, mate. Wait, wait, wait. What is your idea? So, so you, are you trying to send items to your banker after you've crafted them? Because you—that's an easy, easy to do. You can send that directly to one, if you so wish. I get a special chow mein. It has loads of meat on top with smothered in sauce. Gadget, you my bro. That is. That sounds lovely. That sounds absolutely lovely. I'd be alright with that. Now you guys are making me hungry for Chinese. I wonder if the... Nah, nah, nah. I've already said I'm making dinner tonight. I, I can't do a chicken chow mein. Uh, crafted item like blacksmith enchanting. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Um... Okay, one moment. I've been thinking. Okay, so here's TSM, um, dude. It's like one meal in one. Yes, gadget. Okay, here's TSM. Here, this is how you do mailing. So that sounded very sarcastic. It didn't mean that way. So you get your crafting. So you get whatever group you, you've got. Yeah. So say we're going to send all of our crafted mounts to. I don't know, death, my Drakthir, or Drakthir, I don't know. You go down to mailing operations in operations in TSM. We're going to make a new operation. We're going to call mail to banker. Yeah? Mail to banker. We're going to enter the character's name. We can go to my alt and we can just go Destrostras. You can just type in the name if you want. Keep this amount. You don't want to keep the amount. Set your, set your max quantity. Uh, no, I don't need to set my max quantity. And then literally just go into here, collect, select the group that you want or the hierarchy of groups like crafted mounts. Select that group 
and then that's it. That operation will now send all of the crafted mounts, whether that be on my dual crafter or my engineer, directly to Destra Stras. And we can go over to the mailbox and we can now send it by going into groups, select mail groups, yeah, and then just mail selected groups. And it will run the operation in TSM and it will just mail it to you. What are you making? What am I making for dinner? Um, it's like a tomato, uh, like a tomato chicken pasta. Nothing special for dinner. Um, it's just easy to do. As we're both, uh, well, she's working late, so I want to make sure that she's got something I bought way too much. She's working late, so it just makes sense for me as I'm home to make the dinner. Uh, so I'm making, well, streaming and making videos today. So it's fair. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, no worries. If you've got any other questions about gold making, feel free. Feel free to ask. Uh, that's kind of why I, I, I started the stream. So what we need now is some other stuff on the auction house. What are we going to do? So we need nylon thread. We can get that from the Brutosaur. Does that mean we have... Does your she play, play well with you? Uh, she, she does play well on my account. Um, you know, screw it. I'll log out. Jake, uh, this is her character. I'll show you. Her character is this one here, the level 61 death knight. Um, that's currently dead. She's currently in the waking shore. So we don't actually play together because she uses my account. But um, but yeah, she does play like when I'm offline or something. So if you ever see like uh, Ilu on, that is my other half. So please don't try and talk to her. She won't respond at all. <laughs> she, she literally would just blank people. It's dead. I know, I know she's dead. I don't, she said she was having issues with like some quest or something, but I haven't really had a look yet of what's going on with all that stuff. Just one of those things, really. Oh, of course you're not. I don't expect I don't expect it. I'm just let letting you know. But yeah, not too bad. Let's, let's, yeah, she 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 plays from time to time. She doesn't play like as frequently as me because obviously I'm like every day because this is technically a job now of YouTube. So you should make make her account. Yeah, I probably should make her an account, but she doesn't actually have a. PC, like you've just said, or y'all ha have one PC. We only have one PC at the moment. However, if I get my way, we'll have two. Why? Because I can. I'm quoting Katarina from League of Legends there. Why? Because I can. It works out quite well. Now, right, where's the Dalaran Northrend? Because we need some frozen orbs. And I know Giblet has uh, the discount. Right, that is PC turned off, boo -kam I. I don't know why, I always say like weird things like Uzama and boo I have no idea if it actually means anything or anything to that effect. I literally just say random gibberish that comes into my head. I don't know if any of you guys are like the same as me in that regard, but I just walk around, especially like when I'm at work, I'm just like if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sounds really weird, but I just do it. It makes everyone laugh at work. So I'm happy with that. If everyone's laughing and having a good time. 
so to speak. Right, let's. We've got all of the vendor stuff. Let's go buy a load of stuff off the auction house as we've still got things. Do you know what? Tailoring has been really great at pulling back the rest of my gold. What is your first? Lagers. No, uh, two two sex, mate. Um, let's pull up this, and then just do a shopping scan. You do the same thing. Well, hopefully, you got everyone's doing quite well today. I'm I'm rather enjoying this, just having a chat. We've like been streaming for like two hours, forty six minutes, thirty one seconds at this moment in time. This is pretty good. I'm rather enjoying it. Probably should do something a bit more active than just do, doing my, my uh, crafting and all that stuff. But, yeah. Like, are you bitters? I really don't understand what you mean, Jake. Probably helps with the streaming. It would be boring if you just sat there completely silent. Helps fill in quiet moments. Very much does. Like I could use this streaming thing to just do the stuff that I probably should do, which I'm putting off, which is leveling all of my alts to do uh, a lot of dragonflight farming at the moment. Because I keep putting stuff off. I really do put a lot of stuff off when it comes towards Dragonflight at the moment because I don't feel the need to level. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't spell really good. Don't worry, mate. I'm I'm dyslexic, so my spelling is atrocious before I put it into, like, spell checkers. And all that stuff. I really have a problem. I'm, I'm really surprised I'm having a good time reading uh, the comments because usually it just jumbles around and goes mental for me, and I really struggle with that. So, spell weave. Oof. Oh, I only needed one. Sorry, I can't spell. Same. Oh, you're dyslexic too. You know what? That, that is one thing I do like about being dyslexic, though. We have a a, a very a good ability to focus on one thing at a time. Like we found that from like when I was in college, my uh, my assessment for being dyslexic, and it literally says, has had struggles juggling multiple things at once, which to be quite honest, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Preparing the the thing, well seriously, close it down, open it back up. If it ain't working, just do that. I made fun of it. I get made fun of it. Dude, I wouldn't give them the time of day. If people are making fun of you, just ignore them. That really doesn't matter. Life's too short to like care what, what, what they think. Seriously. It's like, oh, ba 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 ba. You know what? We're having such problems getting Frostweave at the moment. I'm literally just going to go into the into this and I'm just going to do it manually. Frost weave cloth. I want five six five. I've bought it. Grab that, and I'm gonna grab that, and I'm gonna take that out, and then it will update my TSM for me. And then grab all the bought stuff. I know. Yeah, just don't pay them any mind. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, half the time for me, I'm just I I usually make fun of myself, a lot, like self-deprecating humor. I do that a lot. I know I do. Buy from the auction house. Why Why are you asking me to buy that from the auction house? That makes no sense. Okay, fine. Mind over matter. The people who matter don't mind. And the people who mind don't matter.
We're getting quite deep here, aren't we? <laughs> man, I wish I could give you Frostweave. Don't worry about it, man. It's fine. I, I appreciate it. I'd appreciate it, but don't worry about it. It's cool. What's really upsetting me in this expansion is I'm finding it really hard to do any form of... Uh, what's it called? Any form of... Enchanting like obviously with crafting uh, crafters gold. I was I was like, yeah We're gonna do some uh, enchanting stuff and all that stuff and I'm just like yeah, none of this is profitable <laughs> So I need to level my mage, but I just I just can't be bothered It sounds so trivial. I probably should but I don't want to because I'm very lazy You can give me frost weave bruv If it works. I don't know why it's doing this. Yay, TSM. Don't know why TSM does that. Does anyone know why the why the frames just drop? Oh, by the way, feel free to jump into the Discord and ask any questions anything as well uh, I know a lot of people are online if you guys so wish I'm on NA did you watch uh, the video of the 170 20 minutes lol I haven't actually had a chance to watch anything Oliver um, uh, yeah I'll probably watch it later though definitely will for leveling because if we can speed run the leveling process like I had a great video idea for leveling and I was like oh this would work I joined the discord love good I'm glad you're on the discord oh actually Jake um if on the discord come over here so we're in gold on the discord if you go to links no not, not links guides I have my 101 guides going over like principles of gold making, how to make gold with lazy gold, crafting versus farming, a beginner's guide to gold making. This is all stuff to get you started with gold making. Just if anyone needs it, it's there. It's in the info of guides. So any of you guys can check out and start doing gold making as and when you feel the need to. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'm going to reload the uh, the UI because it's being really fun real funny. I don't know why it drops the frames. My uh, uneducated guess would be all the all the data. Yeah, I would. Uh, it it seems that way. It really does seem that way. Um, in that sense. Yay, telling on crafts. I probably should have done that. Uh, basically, he did was turn in a bunch of repeatable quest items in Silithus, I think. Oh, so the Twilight Texts. Is it the Twilight Texts? Yes, that's the repeatable quest. You can get a load of, uh, like, four different types of recipes from there. And that repeatable quest has a quest chain associated with it. However... You need to be an appropriate level to do the quest chain to unlock that repeatable quest chain. So it'd be very interesting to know how he did that because that quest chain's fairly long. So should work out quite well. But yeah, if that works, fair. You you can uh, you can make a decent amount of gold through that. I can't I, I can't complain with all that. Hmm, that works. Oh. But if we could figure out some ways to actually level and make gold, like skinning or herbalism, that'd be pretty cool. But depending on the on the time it takes to actually level a character while doing that, like skinning would be the obvious, like faster one of doing it because you're actually killing mobs and you're gaining XP from skinning as well. So that would be a faster way. 
of doing one thing. But a repeatable quest thing is interesting. 1.5 minutes. No, uh, 90 minutes. However, that means Twilight texts. You could build an add-on to do that. Like a little macro to hand in the texts. You could have it as set target to the character NPC, bring it up, and then you could have it select the first dialog box because that's always a yes. And then you could just spam press the button if you can buy a load of the Twilight text off the auction house. But from 60 to 70, yeah, it depends. Depends on the price of the Twilight text. You know what? That's it. I don't know. You got me hyped now. That that's a really cool idea. If it does give you a decent amount of XP, enough Twilight text will actually do that. That'd be interesting. However, you'd get a lot of mail. But if you can speed run the leveling process, that would work really well. Gadget, uh, gadget. Oh, I just noticed the new green BOEs only require level 60 to equip. Since some of my alts uh, to learn transmog, and now that I've got a jump, uh, eye level jump, looks like a sell for a good price, though. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough, man. Are we talking about the gadget? Are we talking about the greens that come from Dragonflight? I'm assuming so. Uh, T-Man, WoW, you're live. <laughs> yep, I'm live. Um, I wish I could play WoW with you uh, all, but my laptop is has it bro is broken for a few months now. Keep up all your great work, dude. I will. I definitely will, T-Man. <laughs> that sounds so cool, T-Man. It's like iced tea. Actually, I love iced tea. I watched the first like two minutes of the of his explanation video. I'd recommend watching that one uh, whenever you decide to watch it. Uh, look up seventy and explained. You know what? Let's have a search for it now. I'm gonna open up a new tab quick, and then I'll save that to my watch later list. Then I'll actually watch it if you know what I mean. And. Uh, Explained. Uh, oh, he's done a couple of videos on this. Speed run. Yeah, repeatable quests is a good one, especially if you can repeat that for no additional cost. If it costs gold, then you could definitely do that. Um, right, that's safe to my watch later list, Gadget. I'll make sure to watch that. Uh, the eye level three seven nine ten point one greens, nice. What's the video? <clears throat> um, let me get back up. I'll I'll uh, I'll post it in sh in chat. Two secs. Um, I'm assuming uh, the world record. Oh, explained. There's the explained one. There we go. I've just posted it in stream, guys. Um, uh, it's the video of this title thing. I've just posted it. Then you guys can uh, have a look for yourselves, and we'll see see all that stuff. Actually, while we're while we're doing crafting, we can have a look at uh, Wowhead. 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 Oh yeah, I've got it there. Ah. <laughs> uh, um, uh, a next year amount, Tom Leck. Ow, ooh. Oof, my hip just clicked. Ow. Dang. Is that the gathering one? Yep, there's the economy wrap up. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. I'll watch that later. Gathering the in Zalarek Caverns. Crafted legendary for evokers, work orders, reagents, da 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 da. Dracanthus, um, 
Uh, so, uh, Evoker crafted legendary. Interesting. Um, pff, all right, lazy gold maker. Dude, dude, I love the lazy gold maker. This dude's been around for so long. I just, I liked, I loved it when he started making videos because I used to like read his blog like all the time. And uh, this guy knows. If you want someone that knows pretty much crafting, yeah. And the person to go to for like Uber crafting, Lazy Gold Maker. Lazy Gold Maker is a great content creator for gold making. Like if you want to get into crafting, just go to Lazy Gold Maker. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. And he's the, he's the thing. So not really much to talk about when it comes towards all of this stuff for this week's um, thing. Nothing really catches my eye, so to speak. Oh well, it was worth having a look. Let's start another craft, shall we, my magey? Um, Della, do you think the extra five skill from the Dark Iron Dwarf for blacksmithing is worth it for? Uh, mm, yes and no. Um, for when I'm picking a race for professions, I actually wrote, um, didn't I write a guide on it? Yeah, I think I did. Um, no, it was in my book. It was in my book I made. So the book that I made, uh, went over all of this, um, a while back, um, with professions and races, I usually go for stuff that is constant, like, thing. Uh, with skill plus points, I don't find them to be much effective. I usually go for, like, racials that actually add some value. So, i.e. goblins. Goblins have a, have a reduction of cost of loads of different things. Okay. And I find that to be more helpful than, like, Dark Iron Dwarf buff. Basically... If you want to min max, then by all means do that. But honestly, I don't see much of a positive for just the skill points. You you would want to go for something a little bit more bonus, bonus orientated. How, um, yeah, that's that would be my answer for that. Yeah, definitely well worth it. Okay, I, okay, thank you. No worries, ma'am. Um, I know I prattled off a bit for a bit of a tangent there. You know what? I think I have my my folder open. Let's let's actually do this a bit better for you. Oh, I'm sitting awkwardly because obviously the chair. Um, <laughs> let's have a gander, shall we? Uh, where did I save it? I've moved around my PC so much I can't remember where half of the stuff is. It's under projects file, books, uh, Dallas Guide to Gold Mastery book. Um, am I opening this in my e reader? <coughs> yeah, Luna. No, the dog's barking because she can hear the bin men. Ah, races. Okay, cool. Okay. Two seconds. My dog is going mental. What's your favourite mount in WoW, both owned and unowned? Um, My favourite mount overall in WoW is oof well it would be two secs let me get crafting I'll open up my thingy um I'll show you where is it this, this one uh, the Winter Spring Frost Saber is my favourite mount. 
it's so simple and it looks so cool and I wish they did a epic version or an updated version of this. However, not removing the old version. Just if they revamp the new world, that would be quite cool. Has to be the long boy for me. Gadget, fair enough, man. Um, to be honest, like a revamp on that. Well, this is an odd way to wake up. Good morning. Bunny! I am, I, I, I was just streaming. I was just streaming. Uh, <laughs> um, but if I really wanted a mount, I want the crab mount. I really want the crab mount, and I remember that. That's my favorite mount too. Uh, that's a sweet looking mount. I do like that mount, but they need to do an update on it, but not remove the old one. That's the, that's the, that, that is the Dalla conditions. You can update the mount, but you have to leave the old one un, un, intact. So if they like revamped in like a new expansion, the whole of Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor, please give us some more winter uh, thing. Uh, uh, the winter spring quests. However, we get an updated version of that mount in epic quality, like, like you know, like the other night sabers. So if we go into night saber, night saber. I know Rob, Rob on, in the chat, he has tons of mounts, and he totally beats me at all this stuff. But do you know when they updated all these, they should do that for like. Our ones, like just update these ones, but leave them in the get the old ones in the game. That would be nice. That would be appreciative. Oh my god, same. I want the crab mount so bad, dude. I want the crab mount like now. I want it now. <laughs> uh, where did you get your name from? Uh, what Dalla, Jake? Uh, Dalla, GG. Dalla is short for Dalaran because it's my favorite city in WoW. And GG just means good game for when I was constantly playing League of Legends. Dalla, GG. Dalaran, good game. There you go. And now I've turned it into a game studio. Dalla, GG Studios, where we make add-ons and games. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, someone did a video remaking the Night Sabers. They did such a... I know, I saw it. I saw it. He did such a great job. And it's amazing. I saw him redo uh, Slayer of the Lifeless in Blender. Oh, it looks cool as hell. I love it. Gadget, I've watched all the videos now. I, I basically pissed off my other half while binge watching them. <laughs> um, what do you think about Blizz giving away TCG pets and mounts uh, live streams for four hours? I had to sell all of my TCG stuff because it wasn't worth keeping them anymore because they could either be just given away for free and I really don't want to lose a lot of gold. So I'm not happy, Bun, about the TCG stuff being given away for free uh, because that was one way I was making gold, but it was flipping them. Uh, Rhea, uh, people have been theorizing we get an update next expansion, uh, EK, Kalimdor, uh, but I also feel that people say that all the time. I feel it's more wishful thinking than anything tangible. Yeah. Um, however, they are updating a lot of the old assets at the moment for WoW. So I wouldn't take it out of the realm of possibility as this expansion is merely just a buffer of keeping everyone who's sticking around happy. And... The next expansion, they really got to pull it out of the bag. So a, a whole revamp from the Cataclysm is overdue. Um, T Man, oh yeah, I I made uh, made a game called Void, right? I want to try it so bad. Let me give it a go, mate. Um, but T Man, uh, please don't play Void, my my game Void, until patch one point one is out. The patch should be out tomorrow. I'm going to get up really early and start working on the last few bugs because we're adding a new game mode in called Rift Mode where it auto-generates the zone. It also generates the mobs and it's on a timed event. So you have between two to four minutes to play. Yeah, 
And if you want to extend your time to survive longer, you have to either destroy the rare elites that are on the zone while you're being swarmed with mobs, or you find time fragments. Survive as long as possible to gain the highest score. Good luck. <laughs> or you can just play the story that I spent ages on. Um, uh, bro, same. Uh, Bun, how are you this morning? I haven't actually had a chance to say hello for a while. Uh, it feels good. Uh, would take long doing Cataclysm style revamp. Well, think about it. Think about it logically. They they would have had to have this in the works with Team Two working on this for at least four years. So they would have had to decide on this probably like at the end of Shadowlands at least. Uh, as long as they keep keep the old Kata versions, I'll be happy. They made a mistake by destroying it all at once and thing. Yeah, Rhea, I agree with you. I agree with you. I would like them to have like a time walking, like, do you know like Zadormi? You could go back to the old uh, Cataclysm. Now that would be cool. So you can go back to the Cataclysm zones, do your stuff there. Or you can go into the updated Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms and destroy. And someone's in my screen. Hello. Uh, oh, okay, for sure. I'm going to give that a try. Um, also, good for new players who won't be shoved into BFA anymore. I would, uh, if you could, level one to max on a revamped Eastern King of the King. Rhea, agreed. I would love it if they just scaled everything so like low levels can play with high levels. Make the leveling experience fun. Like I would love to just play old world classic stuff in retail and get to max level that way. That makes sense. Uh, maybe don't necessarily do a full revamp at once, but individual zones as they add new content in to them. Well, it depends on how their framework is for workflow. Let's be quite honest now. Because I don't mind them doing a full revamp, but just don't balls it up, which is very hard. <laughs> uh, maybe I had start at the end of BFA. And hey, Della. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, this is a good way to start the day. Yeah. Wait, we've been streaming for three hours, 13 minutes right now. Like, dang, I should have done this earlier in the day. No, probably not actually. Because I know uh, the majority of you guys are in the US. Because it actually shows me on my demographics of who watches me. And the majority of people are from the US. So it just makes sense. Probably start the stream later on in the day instead of early morning, even though I'm an early morning person. But I could always do editing in the mornings. Actually, screw it. That's not a bad idea. We could always do a stream tomorrow after I've done the void update. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, Della, what time is it for you? The time for me is currently 2.23 in the afternoon. Hi Della, what do you think about the time stuff in 10.1.5, like the corrupted Ashbringer and that kind of things? Really? I need to get caught up with that, mate. Um, I really haven't looked into it yet. Um, if you've got a good video that summarizes it all for me, all the new updates, I would love to see that. However, I've been really curious to check out um, Classic Hardcore. I don't know. There's something appealing about it. Uh, United States here too. Jenny. Um, I'm EU, US player. I'm just EU, but I do have a US account. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. Thing. Okay. Yeah. It's a good day to be alive. How about, um... But with the 10.1.5 stuff, if you've got any decent, something that summarizes the information for me, that'd be really handy because I've been so busy with everything else, just trying to juggle stuff. I've been out of the loop, trying to keep up to date with stuff and I feel like I'm falling behind at the moment. So if you've got any good videos for me to watch this afternoon, that would be handy, especially like when I'm cooking. Because 
when I'm like cooking dinner or something, it's handy to just binge watch stuff. Now, obviously, I can't just stream and go to the kitchen over there and start in, into the stream from over there. That makes no sense. Classic hardcore is fun. I'm waiting on official servers now, though. Hopefully, they don't take long on those. Nah, you'd have to recreate a load of stuff inside of it. It shouldn't be too hard because you're just reprinting classic hardcore. It's a good idea because it comes from the community. Everyone, you know there's demand for it because people have done it for you. Independence did, did the testing for you with the add-on. So now you know there's a market for it and that'll bring people back to the game, keep them more engaged and classic hardcore is the thing. I just hope they, they at least compensate the people who made the add-on. That'd be cool. That'd be cool because at the end of the day, multi-billion dollar company, they give them a good idea to keep more retention in their game. At least reimburse them with something for their work. That would make sense. When I'm making dinner, I always watch videos too. It's the best time to... I know, right? Thanks for the company, Della. Better get some sleep. Have have a good stream, mate. Nor, have a good one. Sleep well. See you when I see you. Uh, I mean... Like, I, I like the idea of classic hardcore. I just can't... I don't know how to justify making content on it because I'm a gold maker and... Once you're in your niche of what you're doing, I don't know why my dog's chasing her tail, um, <laughs> but when my, I don't know, when I'm, yeah, it's like making content, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, with, with like gold making, um, there's only so much more that you can do with that. There's like a cap limit on how big you can get with that as well, especially from like a business standpoint. I mainly play on EU. I rely, I uh, love your work and it has helped me optimize my gold income. That's really nice to hear that I've been able to help you, bub. Blizzard reimbursing them, lol. Yeah, I know, T man. I know, I know. It's a long shot, but it would, it would. For what they would give them, it would definitely boost them a bit more with all that stuff. Like, like, you you think the current, uh, currently, if they, even if they just gave them a little uptick to say thank you for giving them a new game mode, it would go a long way for the community. It wouldn't be much for them, but it would be a lot for the community because it means that the community is getting rewarded for thing. Even if it's not money, it doesn't have to be money. Also, um, I can't remember. Was that it was in chat? <laughs> but then we everyone jumped online. Uh, it would be amazing to step forward for Blizz. Uh, yeah, it would. Um, I go all over the uh, racials for dark. With Battle for Azeroth, a lot of allied races came with racials that are quite powerful in regards to professions. And this is best showcased with the Dark Iron Dwarf racial mass production, in which the in which it gives the ability of five extra skill points in blacksmithing and also a blacksmithing buff to increase the speed of blacksmithing by 25%. This is best used if you're looking to increase the workload of crafted items. So, uh I can't remember who who's, who said, because I've been talking to everyone, about Dark Iron Dwarfs. 25% increase on uh, crafting speeds. Definitely well worth it if you want to be a blacksmith. Um, that's the type of thing I'm talking about. Skill points? No, thank you. Uh, hardcore gold making is just never uh, leaving the city. Yeah, basically. You're never leaving the city. It'd be an amazing step forward for Blizz. Agreed one one billion percent. Um why is the hex we felt on there? Um I wish Blizz would compensate all add-on developers. 
you know what? That's not going to happen, but I wish that would be so because it would be very handy. My dog is spinning around and spinning around and spinning out and I think she needs to go out. Um, that would be a big step for them. It would be a very big step for them, but how can they justify that? Well, not justify that. How are they going to make make it like decent decent profit on that? Do you know what I mean? Like add-on developers getting reimbursed, it would be a massive step. Like I could then, well, if we got reimbursed, I probably could be able to get go full time on YouTube, and I wouldn't have to worry about getting the train to work and getting back and. Then, oh, what video? What kind of dog? T-Man? Oh, you weren't here when I showed her. Two secs. Let me pull up the stream and I'll, I'll show you. Luna, come here. Psychopath. So anyone who hasn't seen her, this is Luna. She is a psycho. She is uh, a little demon. Yes, I love you too. But yeah, that's my doggy. Well, me and my partner's doggy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, she's a Jack Russell cross French, by the way. Oh, I love dogs. Yeah, she she's a little demon, though. Like, the other night, she, she, she managed to kick me out of the bed, which was not fun. <laughs> I really got pissed. Uh, they don't need to pay, so they won't. Exactly, Gadget. They won't pay pay add-on developers because they don't have to. Thanks for showing. No worries, T-Man. Little Demon will need to go outside in a minute because, yeah, she'll need to go outside in a minute. <laughs> but just spamming this all on the auction house. We'll have a look at the gold value in a minute. We've spent, like, next to no gold redoing our tailoring. By the way, if you want to get into a crafting profession that actually makes a, a f steady amount of gold but requires very little investment, but you can produce a lot, tailoring. Tailoring is a great underutilized profession. And you can stay competitive. You can just do bags. Look, 64,000 gold on the auction house is relatively going to sell rather fast. The gold uh, back is not overly too great. However, you're going to make regular income gold and you can get back to benchmark as and when you do. Not the end of the world. Cloth is so cheap. Cloth is really cheap. With all that stuff. We, 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 we can get, get going quite well with all that, with all that jazz quite happy with everything and the way it's all going yeah still can't believe we've done the stream for nearly three and a half hours I've been rather enjoying talking to you all <laughs> sounds about right actually it's almost like I enjoy talking Are bags region wide these days? I forget what we. No, the uh, bags aren't region wide. However, cloth is. So the resources are cheap. So depending on your server, you can make a healthy profit. Just don't do it in Argentina, you. That's my area. Stay away from my market. Thank you. <laughs> no, you can get into whatever market you want. There's enough room for competition. I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not against anyone coming into my markets because we can all get sales. It's not oversaturated or anything. Nyros open up task list. Oof. Uh what's the best profession for someone mainly PVPs with solo shuffle? 30 minute wait times. Honestly, you want something that you can do in 30 minutes that provides a profit? All right. Interesting. Go into Worth It. Download my ad on Worth It. Go into Flipping. Remember, set this to... Set this to this. 
that's in the chat right now, you go to disenchanting and then you just disenchant items that are out of profit for shards and dust and, and resell that on the auction house. Shows you the output and the input that you need to provide to craft this item to disenchant into relative dust and sell them on the auction house. You'll make a decent amount of gold just by doing that on a regular basis, even with just disenchanting greens in general. You can make a decent amount of gold just by doing that in about a 30 minute wait queue. And you can do that relatively easily and the materials sell rel relatively fast because they are enchanting materials. That's what I'd say if you're just doing little things in between farms. Um, what's what's your favorite profession? We're currently about to start doing it. It's blacksmithing. When it comes towards crafting, if it's if it's uh, if it's gathering fishing, I rather enjoy fishing. It means you're getting gold for just sitting there clicking a button. Unless you want to highly optimize and farm the the pools, which I'm very lazy at doing. Good to do. Tell me your goods. Thank you. Where are my things that I need? Durable flux, uh, one, two. I need one, two, three, and one, two. Okay. Thank you. No worries. You're welcome. Fishing with a con controller is fun. I've never actually played WoW with a controller. It's just one of those things. Wait, something sold? Hey, 314 gold coming. It's for the red steel leg guards. Nice. Really hope we get something decent in the next one. Not too bad, so to speak. Da -da -da. Hmm, good to know. Yeah, I, I'm... I, I'm quite basic with the stuff I enjoy doing. I like farming instances, really. That's my kind of thing. I really do far like farming instances. We we did that. So. Oh. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Braven. You uh, joined the Patreon. I hope the TSM profile works for you. Uh, any problems, feel free to message me, uh, DM me, and uh, we'll, I'll get sorted with that. There's also loads of di different guides and loads of information for you, Braven, if you've just, as you've just signed up. I never normally do, but I can set up to fish with a controller when I don't. That's pretty cool gadget. That's pretty cool. Honestly, that's... Oh, I'm really... Probably should get get a controller. Well, I'm going to need a controller because I'm going to be porting Void to Xbox, aren't I? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. I'm going to be porting my game to Xbox, so it's on Game Pass. Um, do... Uh, Della, do you think they will ever bring WoW to another platform? It would be cool. Like I was just talking about with my game, Game Pass. If it goes ahead, that would make sense. That would that would really make sense for doing so. But um, I don't think so. The engine is so old, it would have to take a lot of configuring and possibly a new full rebuild of the entire engine. And... You're talking about a lot of work when it comes to rebuilding a game engine that has been around for so many years, like at least two decades worth of an engine. It would take a lot. Like I won't take it out of the realm of possibility, but it, it, it'd just be a lot. Do you know what I mean? Oof. <clears throat> Oh my god, your game is coming to Game Pass. I'm very excited. Yes, it will come to Game Pass once the game is doing well on Steam. 
So we're work so I'm working on the port on a separate folder, like separate version, um, until the game has picked up momentum on Steam first. So that's why I'm really worried and looking forward to seeing how well the rift mode works for patch 1.1 of void eoe yeah oh oh t-man what do you think i would have pitched this to you the void had a manga at the beginning of the storyline for the for my game that's already out obviously um that was animated into videos i figured why not complete the manga in the game so if you have the game, you can read the manga of all the characters and the bosses that you have to fight in the storyline as well. So finish that off. I thought that was a cool idea and it's something that I could do very easily. Is just contact my illustrator for the manga and then complete the manga fighting all the bosses. So when you're actually playing the story mode version and not rift mode, the new thing coming out, you actually know what bosses you're thinking and you can see what what they're actually doing, why they're doing things in a certain way, all that jazz. Do you know what I mean? It's a cool idea. Yeah, 1000. I love the idea of that. Okay, that makes like, like, the, th like 10 person, so like complete, have the manga in the game instead of selling it as another product, just add the manga in the game anyway. Because really, the whole idea is to actually build this out into my own IP for Void. Because, like, there's a whole world map I have for this. And there's so many games and stuff that I want to build out. And it just makes sense that just have the thing. Yeah. I like the idea of it. Right. Folded Obsidian. Let's start crafting. Oh. You know what, this was a really, well, not was, this is a very good idea to just do streaming today. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Nothing crazy, nothing ventured, nothing gained. All of that jazz. But I'm really enjoying talking to you. Lore and background in games is what keeps me very into the game. Exactly. Lore is fundamental. I think lore for pretty much every game series should be free. It's depend. It depends on how you get that lore out to people. It's like League of Legends lore. They just post like the blogs. What's the game called? Oh, uh, two secs. I'll get it up for you. It's on my website. Uh, Void Edge of Existence. All the lore of the game is actually on the website as well. But um, here's the link for Void uh, on my website. And on that website is the law that surrounds it. So like Sindressa, uh, uh, Ron Deere. I'd love to do the story of Ron Deere because he, he basically is like Natharian. But um, yeah, Molten Drake. But yeah, I love that idea. Also, my phone went off. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Perfection. Perfection. Is it free? It is not free. Um, however, Jake, I have, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, the, the game, uh, every Monday I've set up uh, beta, five beta keys to get given away on every Monday on this channel for Void. Um, so, if you stick out for that, you may catch a key. There probably is some keys that aren't actually used, so double check those. They're on my community tab on YouTube, so you can have a look. And that's a free game every sing uh, of Void, a free copy of Void. There's like five of them that go out every Monday. Are your website our favourite? That sweet tea man. I hope hopefully you check it out. And uh, any feedback would be great. I would love feedback. Obviously, the game is going to be fixing a lot of bugs in patch 1.1, so I've been working on all that to go alongside that. But blacksmithing. We're making gold with blacksmithing. Do we need to build the gold with the blacksmithing? Most likely. 
I don't know what that voice was, but it sounds ultimately crazy. May I ask how your game is doing so far? The game is steady and doing okay. I'm really struggling with marketing, honestly. So updates are coming, feedback's going well, and uh, I just need to market it more. We had quite a few bugs. We had one negative review and one uh, positive review. So at the moment it's half and half. So uh, I would like more reviews on the game to be fair, because that's the only way I'm gonna make it better. Uh, that's why I've been working on fixing all the bugs and everything until the game is out. Uh, well, until the patch is out for patch 1.1 because we had some hitbox issues, all that stuff. So I've just been working on all that stuff. Just makes sense. You just, the only way to make a good game is to just constantly keep making it better and better and better. Nothing's going to be perfect, but just make it fun. Just being busy. Um, I don't know. The part on marketing that I, uh, I, I think I would be struggling that I'm struggling with is literally gaining user acquisition. If we had to put it into a, a terminology, uh, for that, is, um, user acquisition. How do we acquire more users? If you get me. That would be the hard part. It's because I'm not like a massive YouTube channel or anything. I'm just trying to build it with my 27,000 uh, subscriber channel. So it's very hard to gain conversions, especially when we're all WoW players. Even though it's actually, I designed the top but Okay, I got you. Yeah. So blacksmithing is doing quite well someone is doing a wheel spin outside that's kind of irritating don't know why they're doing a wheel spin that makes no sense <laughs> and dogs going crazy once again perfection uh, it can be hard getting noticed when there's so many games out nowadays two seconds may I just grab the dog Okay, right. Luna keeps barking at everything. Two seconds, Loon. And it can be hard getting noticed when there's so many games out now. There's yes, competition is rough. Like it's really hard to get noticed and everything. And uh, I'm only figuring it out after I've made a game. But to be honest, keep persistent, keep making the game better every single time, and you and it will work. I just want to make a good game. At the end of the day now. I'm just a little bit obsessed with it. I will keep my mind on that. And see what I can maybe come up with. And DM you with some ideas. If you wanted. Yeah no worry. Uh, that would be handy uh, T-Man. Anything crazy. What mic you got. Uh, I'm using the Blue Yeti Snowball. No not. Uh, the B Blue Yeti. So. Uh, let me pull this up. I'll show you. That, that's the microphone that I'm using. So, yeah. It's all a learning experience. It is. You're not wrong, Gadget. It is all a learning experience. And I generally like learning. Okay, so on the auction house right now, with our blacksmithing, we have crafted items of th worth 374,120 gold. We need to get some big ticket sales. This is why I like uh, blacksmithing because when it's something sells, you're gonna make a decent amount of gold. Beautiful. Even old world's crafted transmog. Everyone's like, current content, current content, content, content. Okay, you can do that. I'm happy to just play the long game. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, do you not use a hands, handset, well, a headset? Uh, from from my ears, yeah, I, I've got a headset. Wasn't sure if you were open to to the help. I'm not perfect, but another brain might help. I don't know. 
To be quite honest, T-Man, I will take any help possible. Because at the end of the day, my clear goal is just to make a really good game with a great story and build out the lore. So basically, just make a good game. That's the idea. Every update, just make it 1% better. Even if it's just fixing a hitbox. You might do a quick video uh, fr from your sponsor, your own game, but what it's about during your video, I found it is hard to purchase a game I didn't know about even though you mentioned it in your video. Exactly. This is going for 13k. Love that you're doing live gold farming content. Trevor? Yes. And we're gonna, we've already discussed this and we've already decided this. We're going to be doing more of these live streams. And I love to hear that and that's why I want to help. I'm, I'm, I'm very much appreciative of that. That's probably the best way to say it. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I have... Uh, I really struggle with trying to find the, set, the right words sometimes. So, T Man, thank you very much. Um, oof. Oh, this is a good day. Dude, we're, guys, we're like a like nearly four hour stream. Wow, I need to update my TSM. Uh, do you by chance have a trailer for the game? I uh, It is on the Steam page. Uh, Void is is or has a trailer on the Steam page, but it's done like Lord of the Rings. However, I'm redoing the the trailer tomorrow for Patch 1.1, because that's all what I'm doing tomorrow is. Uh, I have it written down. Where is it? So the things for Void for tomorrow is Patch 1.1, the AI mobs and bosses uh, realign some hitboxes. That's one thing that we need to do. Uh, notifications, item pickup and item collected. So if you've, uh, if an item has dropped on the floor, because it's a physical object you have to pick up, to pick up that item, it will actually notify you in kind of the same way as a Dalla video would, with like a quick information, an item has dropped on the floor, and once you've collected it, it shows you another notification that you've collected that item. It's a very quick way. It gets off your screen like almost immediately afterwards. <coughs> uh, imp patrol paths. I broke the imp patrol paths in my build. This isn't on the live version, but I need to fix that. And then it's literally do the void trailer for rift mode and the story mode. And once they're done, we're good. I know exactly what I want to do for each mode uh, trailer redo for the game overall. Ooh, not a lot of gold on that. That's a shame. So we've updated our TSM. We can just reload the UI. It's going to up, ask for our cache update. So that's not going to be too bad. Um, however, guys, um, if you don't mind, I'm going to take five minutes. I'm going to let the dog out again. And then we'll get back to gold farming once again. Well, well gold making once again. Everyone cool with that? Because uh, I'm going to take a five minute break. And uh, we'll just pull up that and we can do, 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 do it. Break. There we go. And team man, um, I appreciate any of the help that, that you offer. Okay. I really do. And then we'll move that to the the screen on the side. I'm just gonna close the webcam off and then I'll go for a five minute break, let the dog out and then we'll be back, okay?
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I grabbed a drink at the same time. So it's nice to see everyone again. And we see, I see a new face in here. Della is a good dude. Love his vids. I love... I love that you love the vids. They take ages to make, so I'm really glad you like them. Uh, did anyone know how to do that Azure Span buff thing? Uh, I know I've got it in my Discord uh, invent. So let me just have a swig of this. Okay. Uh, two secs, let me just take a screenshot from Vent uh, in general chat. <clears throat> Guys, if you go to the uh, Discord on general chat, I've just posted the Azure Span uh, phishing thing, my screenshots from that, from earlier's conversation. So you guys can check that out as you so wish. So swoop. Uh, just go to the Discord, go to general chat, and you'll find the conversation there. Um, it's sad because that's where Counter Strike came from. A mod. Now look at it. Uh, modders deserve better. Mod. The modding community is done through just people loving the game, and. Game companies gain a lot by allowing mods. So I, I, I don't know how you would uh, monetize that. Like obviously I set up the Patreon on on that. So like if we're modding, so we go to WoW add-ons for a second and we go to worth it. Uh, if we open up a tab here, you've got worth it guides my my guides add-on which has all the guides in i really need to update that properly i would love to do a rebuild of it so it's so much easier to input guides because there's so many guides i could add um, but it takes a long time to do these ones so doing a core rebuild would take a lot of time but it would be lovely to redo uh, but if you see the add-on worth it uh, um, and the only way we can actually monetize is through donations. So we do it through Patreon. So uh, Patreon is the is the core way I can get reimbursed for add-ons. There's not many other ways you can get reimbursed for add-ons because uh, Blizzard's direct uh, policy on add-ons getting paid for is kind of thing and I really don't want to do anything like Zygor and keep data away from people so um, because I, I'm not a fan of Zygor that you have to pay for a guide in the game hence why I made worth it guides like and it's got actual guides that I've written on gold making and some mount stuff and all that jazz just to get people started you can read through it and all that stuff, but realistically, I would need to do a rebuild on that to make it a bit more reliable. Uh, same with like Worth It Classic TBC. All of this stuff takes so much time to actually do. Like farming data takes hours to gain relevant enough data to actually give to you guys, and that's all time that needs to be spent. So it's it's one of those things where you got to put in the time. But then are you going to get reimbursed for your time so you can apply more time to scale the mod up? That's the that's the sad reality of things. Um, but if we go to like World of Warcraft add-ons, like we can have a look here. Like there's loads of different types of add-ons like Raider IO, Weak Auras. We can go to Weak Auras. Weak Auras is, a, is, a, is, is one for... Uh, Loads of people use weak auras, and uh, this 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 particular mod. I don't know why. I paid for Zygor once in Burning Crusade because nothing else was available. Now it doesn't even seem worth it when there's so much information out for mods and the same thing for free. Exactly. <clears throat> I don't see the point in paying for an add-on. Yeah, you're paying for a, technically a service, but. Um, at the end of the day, it's just one of those things. Um, but if you have a look, 
we chorus <clears throat> sorry um their one patreon we go <clears throat> jam go to their P patreon yeah and they gain patreons based on thing and that's how they're funding to keep the add-on afloat and keeps putting extra time into updating and keeping the thing so it's it's all a case of doing that but if you look at like a uh, world of war craft add-on policy yeah the add-on policy for wow yeah okay add-ons must be free of charge add-on uh, add-on code must be completely visible easy add-on code must not negatively stop showing me ads uh, must not negatively impact World of Warcraft realms or other players. Add-ons may not include advertisements. Add-ons may not solicit donations. Um, Add-ons must not contain a offensive or objection material. Blah 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 blah. And abide by the uh, t uh, terms of users and all that stuff. It's just. It's just. It, it's a grey area where where Zygor uh, play on, and I'm I'm just not a fan of doing stuff like that. I think if a mod, um, in all honesty, we make them as like because we love the game, or we are trying to make the experience easier for gold makers, or just in general m making things a bit more awesome. Then I think, yeah, why not do it? But at the end of the day. I, I'm going to keep updating worth it regardless because I love doing my thing. And my dog is barking again. <laughs> um, but uh, at the end of the day, not the end of the world. So, anyways. Oh, God. Luna! Come here. No barking, please. But, but at the... But overall, let's just restock and have a look at everything. So engineering and dual crafting. So, so we'll do that. Please be quiet, young one. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Talking to the dog. All that stuff. Uh, very difficult. Oh, I actually have to get stuff from a guild bank. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not going to affect it that much, so I'm okay with that. And uh, we could just move a load of stuff from the thing, and all that stuff. And then we can buy some stuff from auction house. Uh, slob rat, uh, lol, <laughs> laugh my ass. <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah. In in regards to add-ons, I I like to make my. Uh, my add-ons because, well, I can do it and it helps people. So, you know, just one of those things. Not the end of the world, thank you very much. But um, let's just do this restocking for dual crafting. I feel like TSM is really daunting to set up. Really? Um, oh no, wait. I'm doing this from I'm 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 thinking about that from from someone who's been using it for quite a long time. Um, yeah, it was daunting when I first set, uh, started getting into TSM. Um, the basics are relatively simple, though. Um, you can find a very simple guide. But we were talking about this earlier, Slob. Um, that uh, I'm happy to do some little mini breakdown guides on how to actually make gold with uh, TSM, like get started on setting up your TSM. So uh, there's obviously a demand for it. So I'll, I'll do it. And to be quite honest, we could probably do that in the next stream, like set up a TSM profile from scratch and show the basics. If you fancy that, just uh, we could do that next next stream or something. We could. I I'm more than happy to show you how to how to set up your TSM properly. Well, 
set it up properly there's no right or wrong way in so to speak is more uh, how you would like to categorize everything is what I'm trying to say but uh, yeah not, not too bad all right apparently we have all of the parts to make everything apparently uh, Della where is the best place for me to DM you about some ideas discord if any just in general discord if anyone needs to talk to me needs to speak to me needs to contact me please do it through discord because I look at that most frequently everything else I really it's easier if it's discord okay just in general oh my god that would be nice yeah slob I, i'm more than happy to do that um we could break it down into mini sections and we could even cut the those into little videos and put those on on youtube as actual video breakdowns if you'd like so we could do it live on the stream and then i can just take the stream and edit the stream down to make some mini guides of that so if you do miss the stream you still have the guide actually that makes more sense doesn't it yeah okay let's do some crafting uh do you by any chance have a join link you could put in the chat it's in the description of the stream mate um but i can find it for you do, 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 do. One moment. Give me just a little moment to figure out what's going on. Uh, just need to do that. Find that. The video from the other day, the vendor gold one's doing really well. Really, really pleased with that. 100% likes. Nice. Usually you always get like at least like one or two. Um, do, do, do. Where's my Discord? Ah, oh, there's my Discord link. That well, makes it, it. It does make sense. Just stream it and then cut it up and turn it into videos and then you can choose which one which part of TSM you're struggling with like to be quite honest I don't mind actually doing more regular streams and just showing you guys what stuff you're helping you guys with what you're struggling with to make gold thank you sorry for that no worries T-man dude don't don't say sorry it's fine I, I actually like being useful <laughs> So it's cool. It's cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, TSM ain't that hard once you get round to it. I think everyone looks at it and then they think it's going to be uh, uh, overly complex. After you get the basics down, it's relatively simple. By the way, doing Mr. Pandaria gems, you have a chance of proccing some of the high ticket gems that are not craftable. Uh, at a profit however you get them as a proc so you can sell those on the auction house for a lot more gold it works very well in the grand scheme of things I'm very happy with that overall oh dang this is a four hour stream has it been four hours already jeez it's only felt well to be honest it only feels like an hour I'm okay with that. Uh, my current bit rate. Stop telling me. Uh, uh, just timestamp your live stream so you have reference points or something to cut up easier. I used to hate cutting up videos, looking for half an hour for the spot I wanted to stop and cut it low. Yeah, I've never cut up a live stream before. So any of these little mini things that I've gone over, 
I might give it a go and just cut those up and see how that workflow goes. Because we did one, we, we obviously showed the mail, how to do the mailbox and TSM earlier. So that should work quite well. And we've gone over quite a lot of things actually today, haven't we guys? Yeah, we've gone over quite a lot. But at least we're doing our recrafts. Definitely could update everything uh, in general when it comes to all that stuff. I have a message. Oof, oof. Uh, there we go. So there we go. All that jazz. Still can't believe it's like quarter past three already. Damn, day's going well. A four hour live stream. I'm all right with this. Works quite well. The grand scheme of things. We did, we've done a, a run of Zulfarak and we're doing basically nearly all our crafting. Well, recrafting. Still trying to figure out what to add in because there's so much you can add in from every profession. I'm going to have to start farming up uh, different types of recipes that I don't actually have because I know there's tons of recipes I don't have and I actually need. I was actually thinking about making an add-on that just shows you exactly where to go to get a specific recipe instead of it showing you in like your journal but it just pops up with a waypoint to where you need to go or what you need to do kind of like worth it guides but then i could just do that in worth it guides but i'd need to rebuild worth it guides and currently we're doing patch 1.1 for void so it's 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 time management obviously that would make that would make more sense in that in that current area it depends but yeah there's i've got so many ideas of things that i want to make but it's just time and uh, trying to pick the best opportunistic one. It's the same with gold making. It's like picking the thing that will give you the better uh, output for everything that you do. Just makes sense. Is there anything else that you guys are stuck on when it comes towards gold making? Just, just, just in general. Like while while we're answering like gold making questions and all that stuff anyone else got any issues because uh i'm more than happy to answer stuff even if i don't know the answer because i don't know everything let's be honest not one person knows everything and if they claim to to say to say that they know everything they, they clearly don't <laughs> but um but yeah should be an interesting one. Uh, we're nearly done with our jewel crafting. We just got a couple more crafts to do. A couple. It's, a, it's like, what, five things to do. Craft up. Post those to the auction house. I think we should be fine. But overall, quite happy with the way the day's going. <clears throat> I'm actually getting quite a lot done. And I'm having a decent conversation with you guys. Oof. I'm stuck on RNG. RNG is a pain, <laughs> but that's that that that's a uh, that's an off tick one. Uh, it depends what you're trying to farm for regarding RNG. Uh, is it easier to make gold on a medium or large server? You can make gold on either. However, large. Think about it logically. Um, the more people on a server, the more likelihood you're going to get sales. However, everyone else is competing against you on that server. So it really does depend. Are you able to fight that competition as well as craft or sell items that you farmed? Honestly, on higher pop servers, I find that farmed items sell better 
and you don't have to constantly do that. But I'm on Argent Dawn EU and I find crafting to be fine. So I will always pick a larger server just because more people overall. It 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 works better with more people because I like to far, uh, do volume based selling. I'm hard stuck on what I go for lots of gold. Should I do team mogs which take a while to sell or raw gold or professions in old world? Uh, in old world content. Well, if you're gonna pick, if you're gonna pick transmog, then I, I, I think you should ask yourself: Do you have enough patience to do, uh, to wait a long time to get your sales and build up your stockpile? Um, if you're going to do raw gold, raw gold is fairly simple, but the returns from that are relatively nuanced, in the sense of, just not. I don't like raw gold. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, or professions. Uh, or professions in old world content are great. Uh, you just need to build out your TSM or you can just pinch mine from the Patreon. But at the end of the day, you you can make some decent gold. But they're all going... T-Mog and professions are long-term plays. And raw gold is a quick fix but it requires a lot of your time compared to crafting and all that stuff. Because usually my, my workflow when it comes towards gold making is literally like what, an hour a day? Um, do you... Uh, Swoop, uh, I posted it in the uh, general chat in my Discord. Uh, here's the link again. Uh, and you can check it out, but um, but overall, if um, I'm gonna check it out probably after the stream or after I've had dinner or something, and set up everything for everyone, because I have a dinner really early, and then obviously my partner's gonna have it later on. Trying to make gold around twenty to thirty k for my next token in the next two to three days. Do you have any suggestions for a quick gold farm? Yes. Um, if you've got herb, uh, Rachel, um, or Rochelle, or Rachel, we'll just go with that. Uh, if you want to make a quick 20 to 30 K, um, let's just pause for, for a second, go into my farms in worth it. Uh, do, 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 do. herbalism. Dreamleaf. Okay, Dreamleaf. How much is it for Dreamleaf? You get four gold per piece. Um, that's 4,000 gold per hour. Uh, da, da, da. Mining. Mm. You need 20 to 30k. Yeah, okay. So if you've got a miner with... Um, So if you've got a miner for, if you need 20 to 30 K in the next two to three days, go do like four hours of dark iron ore farming in the molten core dungeon, in the, the molten core raid, and then go in there, mine it. Don't forget to take out the molten destroyers. Do not take out any of the bosses. Go in, mine all the nodes, reset the instance, go back in, reset the instance. It's better if you have a druid with dream walk as it takes you in and out of the actual areas. And then once you've done that, you should you should be able to sell that that stuff on the auction house relatively fast and you'll be able to get get that done for you. Okay. Trasmog farm is cool when you sell it, but it's a pain when you don't get worthy things. Yes, like earlier when we did the Zulfrak farm, I only got like what instance farmer so if we pull up the instance farmer gold sheet, it was literally like what six thousand three hundred twenty-seven gold we made. So yeah, it really does that just does depend on what you're actually trying to do with all that jazz. True, I sold uh, maybe one for two thousand five hundred, and I was like, oh my god, I'm rich. Love. <laughs> uh, 
does uh, worth it have roots in it like do they display on your map uh, okay so with worth it worth it has importable roots so you see this little uh, lines if you have the roots add-on so if we go down and we just get roots da, 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 the roots add-on turn on the roots add-on and we go into do, 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 reload come on but if you go into the uh into this go to the double lines you can import the root directly from worth it if you have the roots add-on and it will show it on the map and it will tell you in the bottom of your chat that it's been imported so you need the roots add-on with worth it and you'll be able to have any of the roots with any of the farms in worth it so you shouldn't have a problem with that right there i got lo lots of gathering tunes thanks had a rough uh, work month and i haven't had much game time to be honest that was my week last week that is why we do not have videos for this week hence why i am streaming for so long <laughs> because i have had no time to do any gold making it's been a royal pain in the bum but at, at, the, at, the, at the end of the day We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. So let's just... So, oh, we need an anvil. Let's run. Do, do, do. With my paladin. Really need to level my characters. We have so much we can go over. I'm back. Sorry. Took a minute to get my Discord working. So, so now I'm in there. Sweet. Nice to have you back, T-Man. Uh, where was it? There's my anvil. Let's just start doing my thing. Apparently you have a quest. I like the stream. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I thought I was going to be boring. And to be honest, I was putting off doing the stream, like, in general. Um, my other half was just like, you're just scared. I was like, I'm nervous. But uh, I'm very glad I actually just bit the bullet and started streaming. Thank you, Dalla. No worries. I'm I'm glad it helps. I just like being useful. <laughs> if it's useful then it and it helps, then no worries. Quite happy with doing that for you. If you need any other help, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help there. Even if it's a silly question, I'm more than happy to help you there. Overall, not too bad. Right, that's our crafting done for um, dual crafting and engineering with our base stuff. So now no mounts were actually worth anything. So mm, not too happy with that right there. Um, however, do you know when I said that the... Um, these items, the perfect stuff aren't worth crafting because it doesn't give you a a, uh, a crafting value that's decent because they're not worth crafting and but yet we will still proc them from the mop based gems well we're still getting free gold from that but we have to post them manually because tsm has uh still thinks it's non-profitable even though we got them essentially for free so we have to manually post those um <clears throat> Okay, right. give me one moment. Uh, so just so I know when I'm trying to get people to play Void, what game is it like? Oh, uh, Void is basically... The story mode is like... Uh, how do I explain it? It's an ARPG. It's an ARPG that is instance-based. So the story mode is like like a boss battler one after the other and rift mode will be like a rogue like game where you're placed inside of one island it auto generates the zone it auto generates the mobs and the mini bosses and you don't know what's going to come next because even i can't predict it because i've added so much random generation towards it you just don't know so it's just a an arpg um 
uh, I used to have to look up popular routes and YouTube and alt tab back and forth to look for routes. This motivates me or me. To be honest, we made this add-on do this type of stuff like ages ago. I'm glad that you've found it now and I'm glad we built that feature in. That actually, something that you may not know, um, you can actually use the Worth It Recorder. If you go into Tools, go to Recorder, you can record your own farming sessions and edit it to whatever you want. So you press play, farm up a specific zone, name it whatever you want, saves it into your farms, well, my farms. And you can also go to this and you can export a string of that particular farm and then just give it to a friend if you want to share a gold farm. That was a feature that was built on early on and it's very helpful for gathering. Uh, I'm gonna end up playing tomorrow after update, but just for marketing aspect, we were talking about uh, is why I ask. Yeah, um, no, fair, fair play man, T-Man. I'm glad you, um, you asking that stuff because cause at the end of the day, um, yeah, it, it's helpful for you, it's helpful for me. Who's your hairdresser? Uh, anyone that will cut it. <laughs> uh, I saw what he said in Discord, but I still don't uh, know what the buff is talking about. Okay, well, Swoop, I'll check it out after dinner. Um, the Azure Span fishing farm. <clears throat> and if we... And, um, and if I can work it out, I'll let you know uh, in the... I'll let you know in the next stream if you remind me. You'll have to remind me my memory is atrocious. Um, Evoca Raider's chess piece is BOE, costs 700k and has the highest sell rate on any BOE in game by landslide in 10.1. All uh, Evokers will buy. Good. Good. Is that... is wait evoca is that isn't that wouldn't that be okay right i'm gonna check that out i i have some good ideas to be honest well t-man seriously if you've got some good ideas man um i'm happy i would love to help <laughs> um i sounded edge lies i did best play arborist yeah, I really need to level my characters so we can make some um, high-value BOEs. It depends on what, what the crafting is like. Oh, what's the barrier to entry, Rich? Yeah, but what's this buff he's talking about? Oh, right, yeah. Swoop, I see your comment in Discord. We'll, we'll figure it out, mate. We'll figure it out. We can, we can keep doing this. Any raider. Yeah, raiding gear. Rich, you're not wrong. Raiding gear does sell rather well. It really does. It works really well, raiding gear, to sell on. However, it depends what the crafting is like. Heroic raid trash mobs. Not bad. Not bad. Swoop, I think you need to level up your rep for... Uh, I think you need to get that buff. Yeah, I think Slob's right reading through the old comments. So, Swoop, if you're listening, listen to uh, Slob Rat. He's most likely meant, uh, talking about that buff that uh, that Shy was talking about earlier. Uh, level 70, looking for raid gear would be fine. Um, T-Man, I will reach out to you in the next day or two and we can shoot some ideas around. No worries, T-Man. Sounds like a good idea, buddy. Yeah, I'm 21 with them. Mm. Uh, Swoop, don't worry. My reputations with everyone in, in in the latest expansion are absolutely nothing. So don't worry about it. Like, it's, it's not too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do for like the, the next load of stuff. 
Well, we could always go over to the vendor gold boy. Hello there for vendor gold. Do you like a bit of vendor gold? I'm really enjoying the vendor gold series actually, just doing it every week. It's really fun. Just going to every vendor and just seeing if they have stuff. Have you got something for me? Oh, wait, 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 what does it say? You got something to buy? Trade? Something like that. Time is money, friend. Okay, so we went to Unguro Crater last time. So, uh, Silithus is one of them. Ooh, that leveling trick. We need to look up that later, don't we? I need to look up... Yeah, I need to look up that. Right, let's go to Uldum. I've been putting off going to Uldum. Vendor Gold. I've got to actually keep track of all this stuff. Oof. Fugi. All Doom. All Doom. Update the uh, Vendor Gold spreadsheet on the Patreon. Just so it's actually updated. I, I don't want to mess around with it. But. <clears throat> so we'll go to All Doom. I'm pretty certain we're not going to get anything decent from Aldum because all of the other Cataclysm Zones didn't give me anything. However, Ungura Crater was great for vendor gold items. There was like, in one of these places, I can't remember, I think it was Marshall's Stand, there's a Tauren that has so many recipes to sell on. Was like, I got a comment the other day, uh, is, is like, I don't think this is worth it uh, for vendor gold selling. Um, just like, that's not the point. That's not the point of the series. The series is to see if we can make gold just by selling vendor items. <laughs> I love vendor flips. Might be one of my favorite ways to make money. It's so much fun, right? You're just buying it for a couple of copper and it just sells for gold. Like he's currently made 20, he's currently at 27,520 gold just by selling vendor items. And he's got more in the, in the, in the, uh, thing and i've been categorizing it too on my uh thing vendor gold every zone we have gone to i have categorized everything like all of the recipes that you're actually going for so then we don't have to worry about any of this stuff but we probably should keep uh this open we're going to have to update this so all doom all doom just update that and then uh make a group called recipes and then we can log any recipes that come from there. That would make sense. It's like, what was it? Where, 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 where is it? Um, worth it guides. Up, reload the UI. Oh my God, I love it. It's so much fun. I love categorizing stuff. I like the uh, stuff. That's why I put all, uh, all my... Uh, spreadsheets on uh, the Patreon because then it's another way to log and then people can see it if if they want to support the channel and that. So it just works that way quite well. However, Patreon's not actually saving when I do my TSM updates. So when I do a TSM update, I try and update the pinned post with a new link, but it keeps giving me an old link from ages ago. I'm not too sure why it's doing that. So I may have to redo that. But let's have a look. Wait, where are my vendors? Should be alright though. We've got all the other different types of bits. No, that's Zodormi. But we want to go backwards in time with Zodormi. Because we want to go to Cataclysm. We don't want to stay in that. Oh, quick pop in. Uh, did you try the fish farm? Shy, we didn't check out the fish farm, but uh, Swoop was having a little bit of an issue with it. Um, is it? It is. You have to have the is uh, the reputation with the Iskar, right? Because uh, we're going to be checking it out this evening. Also, it's nice to see that you're back. Nice to see you. No, that vendor's not good. I live for the fact it helped me keep organized because there is so much in WoW. Yes, T-Man, T-Man, yes. 
That's that's literally why I love TSM is because I can categorize everything in the way I prefer. I think I don't see anything about a, a fish buff with rep with the rep. What does the fish uh, buff m uh, mean then? Um, well, I can. Well, we're, we're going to be checking it out um, a little bit later on. Obviously, I'm going to have to stop the stream eventually so I can actually sit down and eat because we have been streaming for four and a half hours now. But eventually, we'll get there. We are all wondering, shy, <laughs> shy. Yeah, shy. You've literally become a legend in the uh, in 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 the chat. <laughs> Uh, what is this gold farm? Renown level 10 uh, with the Tuscar. Yes, that is uh, needed to break the ice holes open. Then you can start fish. Oh, okay. So you're ice fishing and you need to have Renown level 10. Okay. Oh, the, the ice wholeness. Right. So you need a, the ice wholeness buff from the thing. Okay, right, cool. That's good to know. That's very good to know. So if we're building that up like that, that, that should work. Oh man, I need to level my fishing. There's so much I need to do. It's like, I like need to level my characters up and I need to do do some fishing. Oh, I can, cool. Corthana, my druid, is, her, is my main fishing character. She's level 70 already, so we'll just do it with her and then we can just level characters, all, all that stuff, and then we can start crafting in Dragon Fright. I'll probably have to do a reinvestment of a load more gold uh, just to get started on that. Not a zone, but the escape from Dernhold uh, Dungeons has vendors who sells unavailable starter gear and starts as they sell consistently. Yeah, I yeah, Rachel, I know, I know. Um, Escape from Dernhold Keep. His name is Thomas Yance, by the way, the vendor that you're talking about. And uh, he sells a lot of different types of things. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just post that to the... Oh, no, I bought the wrong thing. Oh, well. Always buy the engineering stuff for vendor gold because they always sell. Like, all this stuff, it does generally sell, but, yeah, depends. Remember, that's not part of thing. However, if we go over here, no, don't want to make it my home. Um, I know, me too. I'm just getting started. We're getting back in the Mythic Plus on my Guardian Druid, trying to gear him up so I can do Mythic solo BFA content. You know what, fair play. Oof. Ah, oh, That's not even worth it. And the way you can buy it and sell it with the redu reduction. Yeah, you can still make gold with that. Um, no. Okay, all doom is pretty much going to be a bust. I can generally tell this. You know what? All doom is a bust. We're just going to update it into the vendor gold spreadsheet. And we'll just say bust actually that's much easier and then I can just <laughs> then I can just log it like that the, uh, I already know the other vendors don't have anything for me so let's go to Silithus Silithus next is the next zone you can top the buff by speaking with the daily quest giver and feed him scale belly fish that would uh, top the, up the buff so try to keep it at 80 to 100% you're talking about that green bar, okay. Uh, fishing add-ons will not help, just use a large bobber here. Large bobbers are always handy when it comes to what's fishing. It's like, it remind me, reminds me of like when I used to do fishing in my garrison. Myth busted, lol. <laughs> Myth busted. <laughs> Myth busters. Oh, I used to love, I was obsessed with that. Mythbusters and future weapons. I used to watch those episodes. Oh, and Human Weapon. That was a good TV show. The Silithus patterns always sell for me. It, uh, Rhea, is there Silithus patterns that are not linked to that repeatable quest? Or, uh, and I can just buy them from the vendors. 
because the thing is I have to buy it from the vendor I can't do the uh, repeatable quest for this challenge I hope I hope there's some uh, patterns I can sell on the auction house and log it with with worth it also we need to check out that leveling thing with the twilight cultist texts because if you can speed run leveling with that that'd be awesome well it'd help me quite a lot well the better f uh their better fishing add-on is a one-click fishing add-on that let you fish afk farm don't tell blizz but again this uh, will not work on the holes vendor I'm pretty sure okay sweet no worries well we're in Selethus let's go have a look uh, I can't remember if there's a vendor up here but we'll, we cover the entire zone so the ones from the vendor yeah the non-limited ones usually sell for people don't bother to find out okay cool thank you Rhea there are some one wants to watch what you what you buy thank you I, I actually did that in uh, in um, Shathraf when I was doing this. Whee! Ah, oh, damaged. I'm damaged goods. Help me. Whoop! Whoop! And that's how you negate full damage. Trade supplies. Uh, there's a leather working pattern in the northeast part of Sedlathus. Geeky? Where? <laughs> oh no, I need to have reputation with this faction in order to buy them. Oh no, wait, they're buying on pickup. Never mind. It's all cool. There we are. There's one. There's one recipe. What can we set, resell that for? 40 odd gold. I'm alright with that. Any vendors? Yep, there is a vendor there. Oof. No. I'm not selling a simple dagger. Okay, there's no vendors that way. Let's keep going. Uh, geeky. Um, whereabouts in the northern place? Bind on pickup, bind on pickup. Bind on pickup, bind on pickup, bind on pickup. Okay, so at the moment we found one recipe. No. No. Oh. Oh. Do you have? Yes, you have. There we go. Nature protection. Uh, right, yeah. Near the entrance of the zone, they sell runic leather working patterns, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we'll go there in a second. I was not aware of this, uh, this one. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. Oh, 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 vendor. Enchanting supplies vendor. Nice. Pick up those, pick up those. Do we have those on the auction house? We have sold them. Okay. We have sold those. We have, oh, picking those up. 8,000 gold for one. Pick up the base ones, and then you can add that. Because they're in their groups right as you're entering from the crater okay right let's go check this out then let's go check this out um right let's head over there put myself on auto run uh right as you're entering from around 81 18 okay there we go 81 18 fine I've added it to my Tom Tom Adam. We'll, we shall find out, shall we? Yeah. Do, do, do. This one should be good. I love documenting this. Once we've done this, I should probably turn this into just a one-off add-on that you can get all your recipes from. Like, it just shows you what you need. Hey, we have a vent 55,000 gold on the min buyout. How did you do that? Uh, do what, bud?
Uh, this is an add-on called to uh, Tom Tom, but Tom Tom just lets you put coordinates in, and it takes you to a certain area. So if he typed in, uh, if Geeky t told me the coordinates, I can type them in slash way. Uh, so slash way uh, eighty one dash eighteen, and then it takes me to there. And now Silithus is basically complete for ven for vendor farming. So we can just go into here. We can add a new one, call it Silithus. Silithus. Yeah. And then anything that we gain from that, we can add that to the formula and, and recipes. And then we can just say recipes. And then we can collect that. And then we've got those all in there right now to be posted to the auction house. So that works. Oh, okay. I don't know. You could do. You could just type them with 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 that add on. Wow. No, no. I'm glad that you're learning something. To be quite honest, because it what was was. If you're learning something new every day, that works, right? Works. I love iced tea. Uh, so where's our next zone? It's either Thousand Needles or Feralus. Damn, that's super handy. It is super handy. Tom Tom's been around for ages. But it's a very, very handy add-on. Oh yeah, I was going to go to the wrong flight master. We need to go to Feralus. Definitely Feralus. So we'll start with Shade Borough, Feralus, and we'll just make our way up. I think that will that will work out quite well. <clears throat> well we're doing all right today, aren't we? Dally, you don't stream on Twitch too. I don't stream on Twitch, mate. This is like the second stream I've ever done in my life. So, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is all new. This is all new. The last time I ever did a stream was in 2020, and that was with the worst connection possible on my birthday. So, yeah, I'm quite happy to just have this uh, this stream. Uh, we're going to just solely be streaming on YouTube. We're not going to do Twitch. I'm not touching Twitch. It's one less thing to not worry about, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Works out quite well. You're enjoying it. I'm very much enjoying it, Chris. Chris, I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the, con the communication with chat. And doing my golf farming, what I would normally do in the quiet with YouTube on, binge watching loads of videos. It's rather fun. Yeah, but hopefully we have more streams. We shall have more streams. Remember, uh, there, are, there is handy notes for limited supply vendors. Oof. Rhea, I didn't know that. Do you have a link by any chance? Because I will ha nab that. Yeah, Ice Tea is amazing, sadly. And uh, uh, is gone and lips and you can't get in Denmark. Yeah, yeah, but OP, OP. The best iced tea is fused tea. I love fused tea. Actually, OP, I have a question for you. As you're in Denmark, have you ever tried a, a, a drink called Tahun? It is amazing. It's made with tarragon. Yeah, hopefully you stream more, man. This is nice. I'm happy to stream more. I was just... Honestly, I was scared to stream. If 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 you can believe it. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I was nervous about it. Uh, yeah, it's good. I've not touched Dragonfly. First, expired. Enjoying Wrath of the Lich King so much. 
I'm Chris. I'm enjoy. I'm glad you're enjoying Wrath of the Lich King. I would love to update uh, Worth It for Wrath of the Lich King, but it's just finding the time with everything because I'm constantly trying to make the videos and update Void and oh, it's like a thing. You don't. Oh, Opie, you really don't like it. Uh, one moment. Let me get it up. Tahun, Tahun, drink. OP, I've just thingy, Tahun. Uh, and ST was stopped, uh, Color. Uh, sometimes they occasionally a little off, but uh, on, on their own notes uh, and cases if needed. You know what? Fair enough, man. If it's there, then I don't need to make an add on for it. Like, so much of WoW has been documented. Like, you don't need to do half of the stuff. So, Rhea, thank you for that. Uh,. Uh, are you playing Wrath much, mate? I haven't played Wrath at all. Um, OP, Tahun is amazing. It's made with tarragon and it's like a green and it's it's amazing. It's pretty good. I rather enjoyed it. Uh, where am I? Where is my Flatmaster? I can't be bothered to walk. What are you talking about? Um, I've never played Wrath. I stopped at Burning Crusade back in the day and picked up WoW back in Legion. Legion was the best expert, hands down, so good. Really? My favourite expansion was... Oof. It's gonna... I'm gonna have to be basic here. It was Wrath of the Lich King. That's probably because all of the nostalgia around it. It's green and it's amazing. It is green and it's amazing. Tahun is amazing. You should see it. Like if you've got um like a Polish shop or uh Eastern European shop is probably a, the the better way of saying it. Um in in your hometown, you'll probably find it. Like we we have it just down the road and you can just buy it from there. But it's green and it's amazing. I <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Ah, oh, those recipes are already taken. Shame. There's no other vendors, are there? Oof. Actually, what is our mailbox with this? Had the best expat wrath. Uh, I only recently had to pay for WoW. Had to use my game gold patience for release token. I used to transmog farm, etc. A lot. Yeah, Chris, transmog farming is fun. Oh, dang. We've made around about 2,628 gold just by selling vendor items. Nice. <laughs> That's working quite well. We we have a place to buy drinks from other countries, and I'll have to ask them if they can order me some uh, tampon drinks. Ta, oh my god, ta. <laughs> <laughs> Is that auto correct, Slob? Is that auto correct? <laughs> Okay, right, let's actually find this vendor. Yeah, Tahun. Tahun's lovely, man. I tried it when I went to Latvia, like, in February. And and I haven't gone back for drinking it. I had to go into the into the uh, 
into the shop near us and and get more. I can't drink it every day, but it it tastes good. It's good. Oh, it's good. That's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing, dude. If it's just an autocorrect, don't worry about it. Seriously. What's embarrassing is that the dog keeps barking. Luna. <laughs> and she can hear people moving in the house. Well, in the flat. Um, is there anything in here? Any vendors? I'm very surprised I can actually fly in here. No, I don't think there is any vendors. Well, this is just like the starting zone. Yeah, this is just a print copy of, of, the, of the starting area for Night Elves. I recognize this so well. I haven't been in that starting area for years. Um, is there anything? Where are the vendors? This is a big area and there's no vendors. Where be my vendors? Oh, alchemical measures. <gasps> Alchemy supply vendor. My dog always curled up by, uh, on my foot. She, she has barked like three times in her life long. <laughs> More recipes, guys. More recipes. And we can resell for not a lot of profit, so we're not going to buy those. But we can sell these. Nature protection and ghost dye. Really? I really need to do this with my characters. Dang. Enchanting trainer. That means there's more upstairs. I love doing this. This is so much fun. Just trying to find different types of vendors. It may seem boring. There are two versions of each vendor out there with Mormo being a separate phase. I'm often find worthwhile to head back with it. This appears here for check. Really? Huh. That's good to know. That's very good to know, Rhea. Here is the vendor with a quest, but you can still use them. They're the working guy. There's other vendors nearby as well. Okay, well we found some more vendors right here. Trade supplies vendor. Do you have anything for me? <gasps> you do! One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, mate, I already have those. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yay, more cooking supplies. Okay. Oh, 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 I already have that one. And I have that one. Oh, there's not, there's quite a lot of vendors in this area. Rhea, I, I'm like, I'm liking this. Feralus might be my, woof. Fish. Oh, shame. Now, contrary to popular belief, these sell rather well. However, I've got enough on the auction house. I, I don't warrant it. Um, but, but, but. We're going to have to go to like a thousand needles at some point. Makes sense. <clears throat> right. We have literally one more area to go in Feralus. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to fly over there and we'll see what we can actually get from Feralus. Feralus is dang good. So uh, go to the Vendor Gold spreadsheet, type in Feralas, and just type in awesome as a little side note for myself. <laughs> Rhea, that guy to the right there, you, uh, you passed over him. Did I? Oh, I'll have to go back there then because I'm already at the, nearly at the other place. Dang. Um ding 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 
Okay, so there's an ink uh, browse. Nope. And Feralus, once again. Nope, nope. We do do do. Well, that is a shame for the last area. Okay, so what 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 what, blah, 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 what do we do? We're going to need to go to this. We're going to type in Feralus, Feralus, and type in recipes, recipes, and um, we're going to then add these ones that we got thing, and then we can actually do that go with okay so in the space of a little while we can go to tools bag value and worth it add the price source uh and I was like what 2000 no just db min oh it's not really calculating it why isn't it doing it that's a shame pat mcgrubbin okay thank thank you ria oh, let me just grab the waypoint for him Pat McGrubbin, do 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 do. Uh, Tom Tom command. There we go. I've got the Tom Tom command for for him, and we'll we'll head back over. Uh, Greenwell bracer, turtle scale bracer, living shoulder pattern is what he can have. Damn fair, is that? Is that with that handy notes add-on that's telling you that? Rhea. Ooh. Right, let's go back. Oh, it's because he had a quest. I didn't think he was anything. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have anything. No recipes. Woof. Oh. Well, it was worth a look. Yeah, then this stuff. Dude, I'm. I'm. I need to get it. <laughs> I need to get that add on. Uh, I'll, get, I'll probably get it in the next thing. Right, let's just post this to the auction house. Before I forget. Before I forget this. I remember that. Tesco love meant uh, I meant, but yeah, the add-on. Nice, nice. <laughs> Why is wiz a formula for wizard oil selling for eighty-two thousand gold? Why? <clears throat> Let's just post this to the auction house and see what happens. And uh, I used to have this attached to a scroll wheel, but it used to really annoy me. Uh, having to use my scroll wheel to post. Don't ask me why, it just really bugged me, so I just didn't bother. Right. There we go. That's posted to the auction house. We have 581,000 golds worth of vendor items on the auction house. So, uh, yeah, relisting is a pain in the butt sometimes. However, this is a really fun challenge. Just go into every single vendor to try and find stuff. Okay. I think the next place that would be wise to go to is just clear up the thousand needles. It takes like literally two seconds to do. Yeah, thousand needles. Desolus is going to be good because it's always got something. However. <clears throat> Right, however, this is hour five of five hours of streaming. I'm gonna call it a day, guys. Uh, I think five hours is enough. So have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, I will be online pretty much all day, so please go on to the Discord. And um, well, please go on to the Discord if you wish to continue this chat. Take it easy, and I shall see you in the next stream, which will, I hopefully, be tomorrow if I can get that patch done for Void. Take it easy.